Ten centuries shall the fortress stand, walls of spirit wrapped in walls of fire, and horned lords shall bow their heads to one not yet born of the darkest sire. One century of blood and strife, the moon shall darken and none know why. The resting place at last is found of the seventh who soared so high. Last daughter of a forlorn line shall guide him into history. Beneath the crypts, prophecies clash. The war of ancient enemies.
Masters. Jig. Big dick basket. Uh, Jig. Right, let's take them. <laughs> Hello, anyone who will be watching now or later, and welcome to Helian's Hall with me, Helian, along with... Rakir! And welcome to our one year stream anniversary, as far as we could figure back out <laughs> that it is the anniversary of us streaming together. At, at the very least, the very first video, now there was the, ver yeah, the video of the very first stream of us you know, streaming together was uploaded last year to the, on this day. So yeah, we're counting today as the stream anniversary date. And yeah, as... Yeah, as promised, we'll be doing a long stream, or at very least trying for one. We'll be trying for three hours, and if possible, four hours. And of course, we're probably going to take at least one break somewhere in the middle. <laughs> because, yeah, we'd be sitting a, like a, a sixth of a day on stream here with this. <laughs> yeah, no, where should the break be then? Uh, eight? Uh, we'll try after two hours, or just say if it's needed. Because yeah, we've never, yeah, we've never, well, we've we've had a few streams that have run out two, three hours, but we've never specifically gone for one. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With that, so uh, twenty thirty basically then. Oh, well, that would uh, be two hours. Twenty forty ish. That that. We're not going to set a specific time at the moment, uh, but yeah, probably around that time. Anyways, uh, I forgot to charge this stupid thing, so now I'm being held hostage by the power bank that is charging it. So yeah, I, I probably should just get a second one of these so I can just change them out to have one charging and one uh, yeah, ready to go at every time. But these are pretty pricey. Yeah, Still. I, I... I have my, I have my box with my headphone cable ready, in case I need to recharge my headphones for. I forgot when I reloaded it the last time, but I don't know if these these things have twenty four hours uh, battery life. And it seems that my camera once again got moved. Really need to put a, a heavy weight on the back of that thing or something. Oh dear. Let's see, Is the bar is missing. Okay, give me a second. Green screen is a bit high. So I just need to move whatever is beneath it, which is actually my pillow. Because, yeah, the green screen is hung diagonally across my uh, room. So, yeah, one end of it is just, <laughs> would just smack he made me in the face if I were to sleep there. Anyways, then. The game, finally, after almost five... Oh, come the hell on. Yep. Uh, the cable from... I was going to reach for my... Uh, oh, it's actually... No. <sighs> the moment this thing gets plugged in, I lose. It turns itself off, so now I have to turn it back on and reconnect it again. So let's just do that. There we go. Now I should have audio again. Yeah, I probably should just glue these things to the stupid table to keep it in place and reach further behind me to correct this thing instead of just risking dislodging it again. Ugh. Anyways, after almost five minutes of babbling, the game. Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, the second game ever made by Arcane Studios, of which we re you know, finished dark their one, well, one of their most recent games uh, yesterday, Death of the Outsider. Wait, which was the first? The first was a, an RPG called Arc Fatalis. And maybe one day we'll get to that, but it is uh, complicated to say the least. It has a magic okay. system in which it has a magic system in which you actively need to draw the runes on your on your screen, but uh, yeah, it's a bit finicky. Let's yeah, get started. Yeah, I think I heard that system before in other games that are usually all finicky. Master Fenrig, where are you? I'm here, Sarah. Now listen, 
In the room ahead, there's an altar with a spider artifact. Take it. We'll need it to get to the Shantiri Crystal. My voice will guide you. And have no fear. I'll be watching over you. Yeah, we're kind of be thrown in a bit in the deep of it. Uh, I think I'm going yeah. to lower the... Yeah, there was a text that, that at the loading screen, which I didn't have a chance to read through, and I feel like it was a... Uh, yeah, something regarding this. Okay, still smooth, but not too fast for me. So okay. Far, so good. Just say if the speed is a bit too high with this. Use the spider key. And also, oh, pardon. <clears throat> did have yeah, I did have just to have. Then hurry through the far gate. I did just have <laughs> dinner after all, so my stomach is going to act up for a bit. And yeah, that just closed on soon. This game, yeah, well, the options in this at the start probably reminded some people of Half-Life, and I do believe it uses a very similar engine to that. See the planks around that pillar? They look weak. See if you can break them. And now for now to reveal the strongest weapon in the game. It looks like you'll have to go up here. Jump on that chain and climb. That's what this sound is from. Uh, what sound? That sound coming from the little text from the car. I'm wondering, wait, is, is my head was draining or something? What is that beeping sound? Will be the easiest to face in this life, sir. Now is your chance to conquer them. You really conquer boxes. <laughs> but yeah, Severed's boot is going to be one of our most useful tools in the entire game. Which, uh, well, the reason is. For most people who know this game will already know why. Yeah, we have blue vision instead of night vision. See if you can open the chest. You never know what you might find. The rope, sir. Cut the rope. And now we're going to get started into the combat system a bit. And physics are going to be a pretty big thing about the combat. Kick that creature back and watch it fall. Careful. The undead are tenacious. Impel them to make sure they don't rise again. I'll do my best to heal you, Sarah. And yeah. Now, now we can also use power strikes. And this probably looks a lot similar to what it we unlocked in Death of the Outsider, no? Except yeah, for this. I think I recognize these combat techniques. I, I think they may actually... Yeah, I think they actually have, may have us a actual sword practitioner. Black in the uh, combat style here. Hired swords they are, but I can feel the scheming hand of the necromancers behind them. So they too are after the Shantiri crystal. Hmm. Okay. Barnum, that's spice food gives me a leaky nose at times. <laughs> and yes, I did Kick put some spice. Be efficient, oh. Yeah, I gotta get some spice food does make people get a bit of running nose. That should take care of him. <laughs> well, they didn't completely go to plan. Uh, yeah, we can block. You can kick your enemies against And yeah, that is probably how most enemies in this game are going to die. Oh, hello there. Where'd you go? Oh, you're. Try breaking the plank, Sam. There we go. Don't move, buddy. Uh. Impale him, Sammy. That 
will finish it. But we already impaled that one. Use more time to hone your skills if you wish. I'll keep the port colors open. Hey, now. Show some skill before I <laughs> <laughs> he just ragged all, all over the place if you kicked him over even the slightest ledge. And that's how we get our progression. Timing. I just love the timing of the kick. Hey, show me your skill before you you tonk. There we go. Uh, yeah, skill points. I like this. I, I like this a lot. Probably because I've just grown used to it over time. But this is very efficient with showing everything. And also, time is not stopped. We have our inventory here with the spider key. And we have our skills here, we have, which are uh, we have divided into combat, magic, and mis miscellaneous. And yeah, each of these costs different amounts of points. The adrenaline here costs 12 at the end, of course, most expensive. Uh, Inferno, 10. Weaken, 10. And, and so forth. Most combat skills will, of course, be on their combats. Magic here, and we have a lot of... This bit is very useful for sneakering, but also magic affinity and magic regen is here. So mages and... Uh, well, basically this is useful for everyone, since we have stamina, health, poison resistance, vitality. And yeah, we'll be going with a mixed uh, build in this, since, well... Both stealth and magic have quite a bit of fun in them. What now, Master Fenric? We're done for now. Let us hope that you will be as efficient in future tasks. This is only the first step on a long road. Okay. Now take that crystal. You'll have a new sword right? to half a world away. For today was just the beginning, my boy. Let us return home, and I'll show you the next step in your education. Sareth, my faithful disciple, your father would be proud to see you this day. Initiated into the arts of magic, a fierce and noble warrior. You have all that you need to achieve your destiny. But you won't achieve it here. Your future is out there, in a distant land. I'm sending you to the free city of Stonehelm to meet a wizard named Menelag. He and I have certain mutual interests. Right now, he's looking for an artifact called the Skull of Shadows. Unfortunately, he's unable to progress any further in his search. At least not without this. The Shantary Crystal that we retrieved. It was worth our pain to retrieve it, don't you think? Take it to Menelag and help him get the Skull. Once you do, I think you'll know what's expected of you next. However, my dear boy, I am not sending you alone. You'll need a guide, a companion, perhaps even a guardian. She may even teach you a few other things. What is your bidding, my master? One can travel lighter than two, Sarah. Am I to protect this boy? <sighs> Fear not. This won't hurt a bit. Shh. By the way, my name is Zana. Hey!
Oh yeah, there are some Protex. The free city of Stonehelm, crossroads of money and magic. Deliver the crystal to Manalag and we can be on our way. I hope so. It's been pretty dull. We should go back to the city, where it's safe. The farther we get, the better. It's our home. It'll be our tomb if you don't drive faster. There's an army of necromancers coming. Necromancers? Fenric didn't say anything about them. Master Fenric rarely tells everything he knows. Hurry, we'll be safe inside. Yeah, trouble's already brewing. Yeah, it, it is an impressive game, but some areas it does really need those need polish, but it is impressive in others. Yeah. And immediately things go to shit, huh? Yep. I do like the gold's armor. Looks relatively practical, actually. But actually very practical. Ooh. Yep, they've got an undead cyclops, and we can't fuck with that. <laughs> Certainly because we don't have a sword. And that was... Oh, fuck. Ghoul. Yep, uh, those BDSM bastards uh, are going to be an enemy we'll have to do with. Okay, there was a little thing. If, I wish he'd stop calling you that. If we'd been slower with that, one of the ghouls would have pounced him. And yeah, he wouldn't get killed. And, but yeah, he would be mortally wounded and we couldn't get his sword if, even if we wanted to. So there are already small things that can make small do. Small differences. But yeah, I, I do like their armor as well. Yeah, like, is it... The heroes want to match it. Oh, you should be good at making armor. Sometimes, they, sure, they make them very flamboyant, but they still retain some practicality. Most of them. Oh, very obvious exceptions, like the demon armor. And like, you know, yeah, so in the intro. The reason he had you know, us to get uh, the, to use the ballista is because he has to tend to the other guard that hurt Sarah, that's hurt next to us. Now or never, Sarah. You have to kill it. Wait, what are we shooting? You did it. I'd hug you if I could. Happened to the stream? Hmm? I got I... 
Oh, okay, that was odd. Give me a second to fix that. Yeah, Discord somehow stopped streaming that. Huh. Yeah, out of the blue. That's odd. Okay, I'm going to change one little thing because at the moment control is crouch and control is also part of my hotkeys. So I'm just going to change that to C, which is not usually what I'd like it on. But at the very least, it'll stop. Wait, why? Why is it still... When, when I press the hotkey to hide myself, it says... It does that. Why is that? Uh, let me just double check for a moment. What is that hotkey set to? Uh, let's see. Mute. Yes, that's one of the things it does. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, not Discord. Not that. Microphone. Okay, why? Oh, I think I see why. What's up? Yeah, it's not. Con it's not. Has nothing to do with crouching. So I can turn that back. It's the leaning system. Uh, yeah. There. So, let's change the controls for that for a second. Uh, let's change that to R is not in use. And we can set that one to Q because that one is also not in use. There we go. Yep, and don't forget me now. Uh, you should get a, be getting a stream from it now. Nope. That's odd. It, is, it doesn't say anything you live or anything. Go live. Huh. You have been disconnected since the tides were patching you back in. What the heck? Um, screen quality 720 at 30. Change windows. Hmm. Okay, this is an old game, and actually this is not exactly the Steam version of the game. This is the original version uh, from the disc being run through Steam. Okay. There we go, go live. You've been disconnected, what the heck? Or is that now because the game is... Hmm. Uh, there, there. If I quickly move back here... Maybe having it from Steam from begin with you have made it smoother. Hmm. But a, a bit too late now. Um why would it, why did why would it just cut out all of a sudden now? Yeah, like we he's still able to talk, so. Hmm. And yeah, they're quite happy with that, so let's just move away a bit. Seriously, why is it refusing to do this? Go live. You've been disconnected. Is it because it needs to load in back on the game for some reason? No, it just disconnects again. If I... I think I tricked it. There we go. I just need to really quickly swap back to the game. Okay, that, it says that's just you've been odd. disconnected on my end. You're disconnected. There we go. It says live now. Okay. It'll be more to load in. Uh, hmm. Yeah, yeah. May that not happen again? Yeah, at least we know now how to work around it, at least. And we picked up a note here. So we use tab, and yes, we have the crystal with us still. Enchanting crystal from an ancient civilization vibrating with arcane power. And a note signed by Garth. I was thinking about Liana again. Like always, I guess, but she's so pretty and so nice. And her uncle says that she'll be a great wizard like, like he is. I think I'm going to ask her to marry me. Not today, though. Maybe this war will give me a chance to be a hero and prove myself to her. <laughs> uh, someone's in love. Oh, yeah, let's spend a few of these skills. First off, I'm going to put one in alertness. This will, well, automatically detect secret objects when you are standing still. There won't be a few nice. yet. And we have stealth here. Increase the sound of your footsteps while walking. But let's also just put one... Yep, there. You are now able to perform a charge. This attack will stun your enemy. To do so, perform a power strike while you are sprinting. 
And beyond that, let's also grab telekinesis and flame arrow. No. Let's see. Um, not sure about stamina just yet because I want to get the stealth and burglar quite quickly. So let's leave it at that before we get deafened by the, the crowd below. Nice work there, friend. You've got some real potential. Yeah, the only odd thing I'd say about the guards is, well, those eyes. <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> that their eyes are like that. <laughs> There's a reason why those helmets are so low. I guess they just couldn't get the eyes to work properly. Well a Care to join us for a pint at the Golden Rivet? Let's see. East the area of Ashen. And yeah, though these drag oh those dragon symbol boxes will always contain rations, though just as an entire box for a health potion. Yeah, that's a bit much. Yeah. And also what the Hmm? What? Uh, this can... yeah. Okay. Uh, give me a second. What is going on? Hmm. Okay. Game. Once, I... Once it is in the menu, it is on. The mouse is uncaptured. Hmm. All right, I'll go to the back. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, if that keeps happening. Uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just install the full Steam version, and oh, it seems that the camera has been moved a bit, because I see a sliver. And there we go. There, that should do that. So it's something about making enemies of the Stoneham gone, and I can... Like, th those yeah. stone segments, I think we are missing on the loading screen at times. Yeah. Oh. We we've said we've had that happen before where games just load in immediately without giving an option to read their stuff. Uh yeah, in general if you're going to put text and lore and whatever on loading screens, put in an op make it so that yeah, you know, once the loading is done you have to press a button to continue. Yeah, do that again. This game was made at a time where loading screens were not that quick as we have now. Yeah. Anyways, so uh, yeah, yeah, go on. Uh, say, say, I, I think it was more of a thing they did uh, than they were, they were not prepared for, where people play it, still playing it, and it goes so fast. So they probably didn't yeah. think that it would need it. Okay, uh, back in the area there, we, uh, just for what you missed, we opened up the portcullis and went through, and in the upper right hand of the screen, uh, for me, that is that way. <laughs> Or for you, that is up there. For me, it's this way. Uh, it will show you when you are approaching the le a level transition. So that is always that's also nice. Okay. And yeah, uh, now uh, we're yeah. in Stonehelm. I I, I'm, I played Heroes of Magic for a while. I played some of the spin-off games, and my favorites were, of course, Heroes of Magic three and five. And this. This game is set in the world of Age of Empire. No, no. It, it, Heroes of Mighty Magic 5 and up. Okay, I didn't know that. I, I knew that it was part of the world. Also, just say if the game is too dark. Eh, not too bad. But yeah, it's, it's in the same universe, the same country, I think, in all. Like, the, the spider god, the god and the dragon gods are part of the 5 and up. There we go. Now we've got access to a few more weapons. And the I think staff... actually, yeah. Uh, hmm? oh, sorry, I was to say, I think the ghouls are, are actually the same ones you see in the five. So I'm going to up the brightness a little bit. Uh, there, that should be a, enough, I think. But yeah, we have multiple weapon types. Oh. I doubt it, for sure. Ghouls don't swim well. What do we do with the bodies? If the necromancers get their hands on them... We might have to open up the necropolis. For the last time, there are no necromancers in the city. They've got you fooled too, I see. But they can't fool me. And I tell you, the streets aren't safe. 
The city could be filled with necromancer spies. Was that parasite Aaron Tear with them? Did you see him? Oh, for dragon's sake. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a yeah. reason why they say for dragon's sake and dragon's blood. They would. They tried launching skeletons over the wall. What happened to it? Splintered on impact mostly. It's a right mess. Really? Um, <laughs> skeletons. If they tried that with zombies, it would work. For some reason, I have an itchy spot on the top of my head at the moment. Uh, maybe imagine them uh, hurling. Uh, but something they did in Middle Asia says hurling rotting cows. Yeah. And I wanna know if necromancers do that they will really zombie cows to hell over. <laughs> Which actually be terrifying if those explode. Clear off you. You've got no business here. Okay. Uh don't know what's in there, possum. Actually let's take a quick peek. There's there's a a supply box, but they've only held like foods and potions so far. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to make an enemy of the guard, for otherwise yeah. we can't uh, finish the game. Which I'm, I'm, I'm proud of warning us about that. They seem to sell more than just ale here. I did! You saw me! You all look alike in that armor. <laughs> yeah, so I have to say... Uh, but I have to say... The, one of the things I do think feel the last it might need a bit polish is the voice acting for its. Uh, how to say this? It, it's not bad, but it's not great either. It's rather mixed. Okay, just use the health potion. That each health potion should heal ten health, I think. Not the strongest, but you will find plenty of them with time. Yeah, they, they aren't letting us uh, link our way around with just barging in places and destroying stuff. Is yes. I kind of like. People have noticed a little shiny up here. That's the magic staff up there. Now what we could do is we could, well, try and find a way to get up there. There's actually a ladder that way. We could use to get up there and jump over here, but that's risky, of course. What we can also do is, there should be some nearby, is we just go and grab a barrel, or, okay, that's, we can't pick these up, we can just break them, eyes, <laughs> okay, oh, another, see, what, oh yeah, I almost forgot to say, the, most of the uh, factions in this, uh, here is my magic world, worship dragons, you, may, yeah, yeah. Even these humans worship a dragon that has angels as well as the chosen things. Dwarves also worship a dragon. Okay. The, the only ones that don't worship dragons are orcs, necromancers, and um, orcs, necromancers, and of course demons. Okay. And then we have to. Jump our way onto this thing. It's our. <laughs> oh, but <to> get that. <laughs> he got stuck. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is one again. As I said earlier, this one game is have a lot of impressive feet about them, but it is also known for be a bit Yankee. Yeah. We didn't even need the bell. We could just run and jump up here. Then we can do the same here, and we have a secret area. With a full health potion there, and a combat staff here. But what we could also have done is use our telekinesis to just join it just down. Really? <laughs> yep. But that wouldn't have gotten us the potion. Now, let's see. We got this a bit earlier. A book about Ashan creatures' weaknesses. A recent study of Ashan fauna. Even now, the game is not paused. Uh, gave us an interesting account of the creature's weaknesses. For instance, while most of the basic creatures like spiders are very vulnerable to fire and will avoid it, creatures with a demonic taint like the orcs or the goblins are naturally more resistant to fire. They are, however, as vulnerable to lightning as everyone else. Actually, they are a bit more vulnerable to it. 
Undead are a different matter. Having no concept or fear or injury, they are difficult to defeat. However, a fortunate adventurer may find blessed uh, weapons crafted from the very substance of dragons that do great damage to these creatures. Yep. Yeah. Uh, here's a fun fact, people. Orcs, goblins, centaurs, and cyclops, they were created during the first demon with the demons. Basically, they were literally mixed with the with criminals and with uh, injected with demon blood. And thus, ghosts, goblins, centaurs, harpies, and such were born. Okay. And they were using as sleep soldiers against the demons. And yeah, they didn't like that uh, after uh, after the war, how they were treated. So they rebelled and made their own faction. Okay, that I didn't know. You are the... I, I know very little about might and magic. Yeah. Yep, I, I, I read some. And of course, I like to read the flavor texts. Speaking of, wooden staff. Damage plus one. Staffs are slow weapons that don't inflict much damage, but are perfect for fighting against a pack of enemies, as they can easily stun or knock back those they hit. There's a space... Uh, yeah, there's a space missing between the perfect and four there. And yeah, with the combat staff we have... It requires melee combat one, similar to how the shield requires melee combat two. And then we have daggers. Uh, uh, we can toss that one. Daggers. Damage plus one. Dam uh, daggers deal less damage than swords, but offer increased speed and versatility. They are the only weapons that can be used to backstab an opponent. Additionally, they can be thrown at enemies. For that, you must perform a power strike when the enemy is fleeing or when uh, your adrenaline is full. Yep. And, well, bows are bow. There's little that needs to be explained about that. And... I had to say this. Storms are far from slow weapons. It depends a bit. In this game, at least, you make big sweeping attacks with it. And, yeah, Sarah is obviously not an expert with them. Anyways. Yeah, I, I, what do they say about the size of a man's front gate? That big one must be Manalags. Okay, got a bit too close there. Oop. Yeah, they're... they're uh, the, yeah, the voice acting could do a bit work with not having too many things go over each other, but in a way that is realistic. Like, not everyone yeah. is just going to wait for e everyone else to finish talking. Yep. Uh, they, mm. they could also do some elbow work on the dialogue, but it's not horrendous, but it does come up as a little cheesy sometime, by accident probably. It, it's it's an old game of a fantasy uh, uh, game so, of a fantasy franchise. Of course, it's going to be cheesy as all hell. Also, a little yeah. note here: to move up and down stairs, you can't. Ac oh. You actually have to oh, oh, look oh, up dear. or down. You can't move up with it. it just about, you can move up with it by just pressing up forwards or back, but you're going to move very slowly like that. Yeah. Though I can say this, compared to other games that are older than this, this one goes a little bit almost too cheesy at some points. Though it might be due to probably due to being, being unable to read the damn story text that were on the load the screens. <laughs> Just a little fireball damage, come on dude. And there's that guy again. Anyways, we we could just go straight to the front gate there. But we can still just explore around a bit. Yeah, and oh. I, say, I like the design of the houses. Simple design, very interesting design. Uh, uh. Yeah, oil plus fire. How about not to burn the barrels in front of the god? Got to wash the blood of these. Wash out the blood. Leave her be, Sarath. She's not important. Yes. People have a bit of a love and hate relationship with this uh, voice in the head. Yeah, some people really do not like Xana. Uh, I personally could just be a Stockholm Syndrome, but I don't mind her as much. Uh, same here, do I probably know for I have heard way worse. Yeah. But I mean, not to be blind as say that uh, she could also use some work. She is one of those that could use some a bit more elbow greasing on. 
Now, I don't think you want to swallow elbow grease. I don't think that's going to help with your voice. Let's see. That's a scroll. I, I keep pressing I. It's a term, you bloody... <laughs> scroll of freeze. Cast uh, freeze spell when used. Of course, that's going to consume the scroll. Mana potion here. And... Uh, one of these is a bit out of place. It's a snack delivery, apparently. Oop. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know every secret of this game by heart, but I do know a good few of them. There are a 50 total, I think. And here we have another full health and a gutting Chris. Yeah, a, a Chris is a sort of dagger. A uh, ritual dagger. Uh, and, um, again, I press I. Actually, it has been used in combat. Hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, Do we need stealth or two for that. I think it was in around Indonesia or somewhere. They actually used Chris, a, a larger Chris. I forgot what specific. It's a Chris, but it has an additional name to it. it was basically the size between a dagger and a so short sword, and they okay. used it a lot. Apparently, and I think I that is about. I don't think they are find. normally used as a ritual web, uh, thing, normally. But they just decided to go. Let's make this bigger. I use it as a weapon. Okay. Yeah, uh, we want to be a bit careful when moving around, especially when jumping, because if we jump on someone, it will damage them. If we accidentally land on a guard, well, you can guess what happens next. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, and I didn't know that she had multiple lines if you run past <laughs> more than once. Let's try one more. Nope. Me. Yeah, blood is very difficult to get out of things. And hello there. Yeah, he's definitely not one of the guards. But I think that's about all we can find in here, so let's head here. Excuse me. Oh, you must be the envoy. Here's our guest. Bye, go. Uh, uh, okay. I'm here to see the wizard Lord Menelag on behalf of Master Fenric. You must be Seraph. I was getting worried about you, though maybe for no reason. Uncle said you helped kill a Cyclops. No, oh, sorry. I'm Liana, Menelag's niece. Niece? Pupil? Mm. Uncle will be so pleased to see you. But you'll want to wash up before dinner. Please, follow me. With pleasure. I mean, yes. Excellent. Guard! Please open the portcullis! Yes, milady. We've had a feast prepared in your honor, you know. Okay, I took the opportunity to there to. Oh. to put the gate down before Garth comes back. <laughs> Poor Garth, she wants. I guess she wants nothing to do with him. Welcome to the house of Menelag. <laughs> uh, cock blocked. Sir, sir, wake up. I did not mean to accidentally skip that. Um, there, there's an autosave. Okay. Note to self. <laughs> Hide yourself before the transition. Welcome to the house of Menema. So you're Sabbath. Good to see you, lad. With those necromancers at the walls, watch it. With that, I was getting worried. I trust you brought the Shantiri crystal. Of course you have. Good. I'll take that, my lad, for safekeeping. Tomorrow we sail with it. And careful with that soup there. To the Temple Isle, resting place of the Skull of Shadows. Let Arantir throw his army against the walls. We'll be off sealing his doom. 
Don't dismiss Arantir too lightly. There are rumors that he might be the Dark Messiah. No stuff and nonsense, girl. All three of us know better than that. But the time is right for the prophecy. I'll worry about dusty old prophecies. You worry about the expedition. You're in charge of it, after all. Of course, Uncle. Good night. And to you too, Sarath. Please don't tell me you find that sort of thing cute. Listen well, boy. I know why you're really here, but Liana doesn't, and we'll keep it that way. Fenric's business doesn't touch her. Understood? What are you talking about? Hmm. Perhaps you don't know. And that's probably for the best. The servants will show you to the guest house. Get some sleep, hero. We sail with the morning tide. Okay, that's a little bit all over the place. Sir! Sir, wake up! The manor is under attack! There are necromancers everywhere! I'm gonna see if the master is alright. Hide yourself! There's no way out! We're trapped! Don't try to run! Yeah, he was supposed to open up the windows there. But, yeah, small little oversights and such. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I have to say I prefer the knives of uh, all the weapon types in this game. Just in case we didn't have a weapon, there's a pair here. You've already seen that. Yep. Anyway, I do like that if things open up and bounce into you, they just bounce shut because, yeah. This is oh, this game is why I just love it when you have an actual model in the game as well. Instead of just being a floating pair of arms. Yeah, that's kind of good for that. Usually means they can better do jumping and such without it feeling a bit weird. Okay. Sword damage plus two. Swords are the perfect companion for warriors. Sure, they are not as subtle as the staff or the daggers, but they are equally reliable and lethal in each and every situation you may face in the battlefields. Basically, staffs are slow but good against crowds, daggers are good against single targets, and swords are in the middle but with the most damage. Okay. Let's put that there. And get stealth one. Okay. Press Alt to use your skill and move slowly. Be careful as walking on some sound sensitive surfaces like metal may still create some noises. Yep. It's not usual that all the sneak. Or at least walk slowly. No. Oop, another food ration. I still feel like they put way more effort on the gameplay mechanics. Maybe a bit too much. And they may have a sort of, uh, yeah, not giving enough attention to the dialogue and story for some, if you can agree, some cutscenes feel a bit awkwardly rushed. Hmm. Yeah, personally, I have a little problem with that. So that, well, I just really like the gameplay here. And... One way or another, the war's over soon. Let's see, I think there should be a transition for when you can backstab. Or do you require... Let's do that for a moment. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Allows you to use... Okay, we need stealth suit to backstab. So we can't even do that at the moment. So instead... Well... Rush! Up, Archer. I pr probably should have dealt with him first. Oh, that I didn't actually think that would get him into the fire. There we go. Oh. Ba 
basically, in every combat scenario... Oh. How did... Oh, for a moment I thought that decapitated him. Every arena is a playground. And I, I just really, really love that. Yeah, I just realized something from all this. I think this game was extremely inspired by old sword and sorcery movies and such, like Conan Barbarian, those. Good chance for that, yeah. For okay. it kind of... Some of the, those movies were very... For many, many classical fantasy movies had rather... Like, if you watch them today, you notice they're all rather... Weird dialogues as well there. Yeah. Extremely similar to this one. And, yeah, there's the area where we just came from. I guess yeah, this game... <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go on. I, was say, I guess this game is one of the cases where they might take an, a lot of extreme amount of uh, 80s uh, movies feel from. <laughs> And yeah, like it's saying, the gates you are seeing in the middle indicates how well you are hidden. And the fuller it is, the harder you are to see. I think for it to go fully, uh, for it to be completely filled, you need to actually have one of these stealth skills. Hey, man, aren't you feeling like you're in an 80s fantasy move for doing that? Yeah, uh, more like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Only I'm smart and taught uh, chuck the barrels directly at their face instead of <laughs> throwing them down. Okay, mana, health. I could actually use a few of the health potions. Or one of them at least. And so it hasn't really uh, been uh, pointed attention to. But that bar next to the health, that is our adrenaline. Hey, pal. Oh. And there we go. Yeah, as we fight, the adrenaline fills up, and once it is full, well, we saw what happened to that zombie at the start. Can I get it pulled? Yep, I can. Okay, then. And yeah. An adrenaline attack is an instant kill. Oh, hello there. You can't not say that that isn't cool. Yeah, and he's even floating. <laughs> Yeah, technically they should be sinking because of their armor, but yeah, early game physics and such. Yeah. Hmm. There was still a good attention detail if he was not armored. Keep looking. We need to get inside and secure the crystal. I can't Again. remember. I, th I think this game came out before Half-Life 2. It has a a decent Half-Life feeling with the amount of physics and such. Maybe, and I know, I know I read some magazines about this game, but they were really hyping it up. Hmm. This made people, many people were very disappointed, sadly enough. Hmm. Don't miss it again. Last. Good job. Let's see what's going on. Again, it is a very impressive game, but they did always have some uh, yankiness. And some yeah. bugs that did for the people. So it did feel a bit overhyped for many. But mm -hmm. it's definitely a game, as I said to another person, that is a game that definitely can have a good use for a remaster or remake. Yeah, right. <laughs> one, of them, oh. one of them must have spotted me through the grates there. Okay, he dropped his sword, so he's dead. Oh, and yes, they will actually try to kick us as well. When we can't launch an enemy off of something, they will just get staggered for a bit. But as soon as there's even an inch of a ledge... 
<laughs> just go flying like a sack of potatoes. Speaking of, uh, where... I saw some earlier here, but oh well. He can have the barrel instead. <laughs> I used to know something. The kick is also a very hardcore stample of uh, old sword and sorcery movies. Yep. <laughs> Um, why have why, why only now I start to realize how 80s this game is? I'm, I'm pretty sure it came out in the 2000s, 2004, I think. Yeah, but no. even at that uh, time, people were loving the 80s still. They still yeah. do. And okay. that even, around that time, maybe would still watch them regularly. Ring of the Weapon Master. You found your first magic ring. A magic ring must be equipped in your inventory to grant you its special effect. Note only one ring can be equipped at the same time, so make your choice wisely depending on the enemies you are fighting. Nice! And yeah, 2% uh, chance, chance to get a critical hit. Um, I think I've already forgotten what I was trying to say there, but <laughs> it doesn't matter too much. Yeah. Uh... Still, it's gonna be interesting, but do I do wonder? Is it, okay, I just played it with Spook Smooth for the rest of the stream. But if it does to do that thing again, would you download the route to the stream and replay it to where we left off? Yeah. All right. You said it. I've had worse bosses than Aaron here. He still gives me the shakes. You've met him? Yes, and I wish I hadn't. What's he like? Like a nightmare made of ice. That's what he's like. And yeah, we could overhear... Oh, don't forget to uh, grab and throw objects at your enemies. I have... <laughs> Wait. Oh, yeah, apparently the record... Apparently the recordings has stopped for some reason. Oh, well. I'll just download the entire VOD off of Twitch after this. Because, yeah, I, I uh, went... When I st stream a game, I also record it at the same time. It doesn't seem to affect performance too much. From what I can tell, at least. Uh, okay, I just saw the bitrate jump up to 7,000 for a second there. It shouldn't be possible, since which limits it to 6,000. But, yeah, I'll just... I'll just download the... Oh, I'll just download the... Uh, the oh. Yeah, they aren't complete idiots. Dodged but... you. They both thought you in sync. Yep. Okay. <laughs> they, they must have been dancers, haven't they? And also, even their dialogue sounds so 80s villains. Maybe that's in part why I just love this game all the more. And hello. Hey, I think that's probably what. Very good. We should keep an eye out for more of these. I was gonna say, I think that it is kind of partially why it, why some people still like it. For despite it being Yankee, it sort of has that Yankee '80s movie charm. Yeah. Ah, I thought so. Yeah, these little jackasses will still bite you. Luckily, they well, they die from a single hit. Antidote. Health potion. Let's put that away. Uh, but, but, uh, what? I think you activated a trap on the chest. I don't think I even could <laughs> hit it, uh, interact with it yet. Uh, oh, back Inside here. At last. <laughs> Good job. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Well, we can easily get past these guys again. You know the. We know of the ring in there. It's not too useful, I, I think, at least, with the critical hit stuff. At least I've never really made use of it, and I don't think there's really anything that actually tells you if you are getting a critical hit. So, yeah, let's leave that be. Nope. And yeah, enemies will try to retreat. It's not always when they are low health. And yeah, let's finally get to some magic. 
Are you going to say anything or are you just standing there to, well, stand there? Yeah. Well, I don't know if they said it. Yeah, basically, flame dart is the pointer finger of this. <laughs> Oh, it was a flame dart. Okay, well, for, for say, that's a weak fireball. <laughs> fireball is lower down. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, they're both stunned. Okay. Okay, that... That is quite a good amount of good, nice armor detail. Um, uh, um, do you see what you just did? I just downed two of the uh, some of the health potions. Uh, you decapitated one. Wait, where did it head go? Is it? Is it? I, I didn't actually notice that. I, I saw his helm flow. What did it? Did the helmet despawn? I... But did you make the glitch into a wall? Possibly that. And hello. Holy Psy. I've never seen oh, found this one before. Let's see. Some of the vines are from out of the weave of Lady uh, Web of Grey. Can Mother's Night and Father's Day. Between dusk and dawn can bring one's egg. Born of uh, they of two head. And worms need aid of leg. From first crack in a balanced orb of peers. Flew stone and mighty winds, then flame over sea of tears. Okay. A short piece of holy scripture from Asha's worshippers. Hmm. Asha, it's a spider god. Okay. <laughs> they are not necessarily evil, but... Um, yeah. Spiders. <laughs> Yeah, they, they say they're from Barlands, but they may uh, be a little bit uh, aggressive in that area. But they're definitely okay. not friend to demons. Zareth, very good. We should keep an eye out for more of these. Now, let's try this again without whatever the hell happened there. Actually, but yeah, flame darts. You can actually control this. Similar to uh, the missiles from uh, Half Life 2. Now, what was that that killed us there? I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing hey, any. Throw something there. Throw something there. Uh, or was that a glitch or something? Uh Unless the trap activated when you open the... Try to open the chest. Oh. Oh, I think... That must have been a flame trap. Okay. Is it deactivated yep. now? Yeah, <laughs> I guess. That's uh, this fire trap. Sets a medical trap that your enemy can't see. It explodes when enemy is near. Okay, I, I think we were somehow... We were supposed to be able to see that, but apparent, or rather, yeah, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> yeah, fire herbs. Yeah, maybe it was not a good idea to throw a, a flaming oil bottle on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Heal up a bit. Okay, I like the sound for that's. Very old school gaming healing sound. Yep. Let's like, see. Do they even do sound like this for healing nowadays? For, at least when you drink for a healing bottle? I don't think so. Yeah, they basically only do that for spells now. Like nowadays when you do a healing bottle, you just hear glug, 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 and a soft pish or something, but I kind of miss the whole melody. And yeah, we can also heal a bit with food. Much better than slim pickings from Morton Haven. I'll say. Hard to get excited over barrels of dried fish. 
That's another perk. The ghouls and zombies are too dumb to steal anything they can't eat. Urgash takes a lot of them. Who knows what they want? Not me. And frankly, I don't want to know. Very wise, my friend. Very wise. I think Urgash is the demon? Li the god of the demons? I'm not fully sure, though. <laughs> okay. Actually, I think about it. I I think I've forgotten what the uh, what the what the normal humans uh, what they call their dragon. Help me! He's, you're already dead. <laughs> I was trying to get, kick one of them into the fire. Oh, hello. I'll be taking those. I don't think that's how you cook ribs. There's a leak. Yeah. There's, uh, a, there's a leak in the shelf. Was that a burger? No, banana. The, the thing next to banana. Yeah, uh, bread. That you took. Can't really tell now because everything is counted as a food ration. Ah, uh, alright. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, it must be in bread. Oh, do it look like the bread you ate to your burger today. <laughs> it's a bit darker. Uh, oh, can only carry 20 of these, so we might as well fill up. There we go. Yeah. Murdering the servants. Ow. Ow. Yeah, okay, say this. For being this old of a game, they definitely have the best armor animation for most games back then. Would struggle to make those animation and armor look good. <laughs> Get knocked over by his dying pal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oop. The wind-up animation for a power attack can be quite long. So it it can be a bit annoying to well to finish off a target. Let's see. Some more loot in here. Here we go. Okay. Uh, where to then? That's where we came in from. Up ah, here. Yeah, that's the ghouls. And clearly... Yeah, they're going to be a pain. I wonder what variation for... I know there are three variations of those ghouls. At least in the strategy one, or turn-based one. Goes his throne. Hello there. Okay. Stop right there. Yeah, you mind if I find like if I'd like a chandelier instead? Swing ah. like a chandelier. <laughs> Never mind. Burn, burn baby, burn, the fire. burn baby, burn! This is the disc. Uh, I can't keep the tone. <laughs> You're a dead man. <laughs> oh, that thing should have stopped like five minutes ago. 
Also, yeah, we have our stamina bar in there in the middle. If we kick and uh, run, it draw, it drains. Luckily, power attacks don't drain it. Oh, some extra shields in case we missed any, but you know, we can't use these anyways at the moment. How are we on skill points? Yep. You get yeah. skill points by getting, uh, by completing objectives and finding stuff. Mostly, you um, can't. You're not getting any from kills and such. Okay. And uh, how does shield work? I don't think I've seen anyone use shields in this game. Yeah, uh, they're similar to, uh, like in Valheim, where if you, <clears throat> they can, they will protect you from damage, but they. Uh, I, I, there's a secret here with these. I guess yeah, there's but a they limit. will get damaged over time. All right, so uh, block and dodge when possible. Yeah. But don't rely to on either too much. Let's see. Book of Ghouls, Book of Sorcerer's Mastery. Okay, let's take a look. We also have this wizard robe, but. Yeah, we'll, it would give us some extra armor, but we don't have magic affinity. Uh, uh, not much, see. at least. I'm, go I'm going to keep saving up for this one still. Now, let's see. The Book of Ghouls. An unsettling text of questionable veracity. Its subject matter is self-evident. <laughs> it is well known that ghouls are the ravenous spirits of the dead, returned to reanimate lifeless corpses and imbue them with an insatiable hunger for flesh. Some say that only those who died of starvation can become ghouls, while others, most notably Balthazar, in his seminal treatise on the nature of the unquiet dead, postulate that any who died of privation or want can become ghouls. Darker whispers state that necromancers can create ghouls by forcing unwilling spirits into dead bodies. Regardless of origin, ghouls are widespread wherever the necromancers have extended their tendrils. Indeed, disturbance of cemeteries by ghouls is one of the first signs that the necromancer cabal is near. Stronger than men and more agile as well, ghouls are nevertheless ruled by this ancient hunger for dead and running flesh. However, when they cannot find proper sustenance to feed their immortal hunger, they are more than content to manufacture their own foodstuffs from the living. Okay. Yeah. Book of Sorcerer's Mastery. A book of lore pertaining to the study of magic. Know ye that if ye wish uh, to obtain the key to mastering thine uh, own skill of sorcery, uh, thou must thread many dark paths and study that which is eldritch and hidden. In the red litten, in, in the red litten depths of the sorcerer's mind lies the true essence of wizardry, of the power beyond this world that the dragons have granted unto us. Yet they say there is a power beyond power, an ancient source to all. Uh, to all the greater magics in the world who slumbers and sleeps awaiting the day of awakening. Meditate well on this and ye shall find thy sorcerer's power increasing. Okay. Let's let's use this freeze scroll because we'll be getting the freeze spell soon enough. It's actually... Oh, it's that simple. <laughs> I thought we had to find another one. And yeah, another little secret area that we need to squeeze into. Let's see what... Ooh, Scroll of Fireball and Ring of Arcane Brilliance. Okay. Ten mana. We have nothing, so we might as well equip that. And yeah, up here is our equipped stuff. Our stats, health, mana, damage, and armor class. All right, then. Oop. Something seems to be glitching out to the background there. But for now, this is where we entered. So where do we leave? Okay, I think that leads back to the kitchen we were earlier, perhaps? Not there. Okay, where do we go then? This is a dead end, is it? Hmm. Hey, what what color was that cloth that you walked past? Uh, 
bit hard to tell in the darkness with this, so it could be any color. I think it was red. So I think you yeah. went to the red district. <laughs> now where we can see that? Yeah, but I think you you mean red light district. Yeah, there's, there is some similar name to in a library or bookshop corner, but they call it I think red room or something, or red corner. Okay, but they usually have a, with that. a red uh, red cloth hanging in front, just to signify this is area is not for kids. Okay. And hmm. they somehow remind me of that. And that was the only area they have that cloth on, so... Maybe. One of these should open, so... What's going on? Was that supposed to break something? Wait. That one's barricade. I very much doubt that this is what we need to do. If we have a weapon from later in the game, we could probably go up there. Hmm. Okay, I'm overlooking something because we need to go somewhere from here. Hmm. Okay, am I, am I just being blind? One door that doesn't open. Are we missing a key? Two door. I don't think keys are really a thing in this game. What? Uh, well, there was the spider key earlier. Uh, there we go. I thought we tried this door before. Oh well. Oop. Yeah, this is a situation that a shield would be good to block the arrows. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, is there any other stuff up here? Because there are just things lying all over the place. And this is above where we were earlier. So why this guy didn't help his buddies by firing on us from above, I don't know. Okay, two guards. Oop. Oop. Let's see. Did I hear something? Huh? Hello. Oh, hello. Drowned floor, pain in the ass, and broken bones. <laughs> no, he's alive. So he, he does something. He's got a thing. I think he went that way. Take a seat. Uh, oh. Man, please go get your seat again, sir. <laughs> and oh, the box didn't fall down on, him, on top of him, sadly. Come on, who's first? You won't make it. You won't stay in for long. <laughs> Archer. Okay, it is a bit odd for them all to have the same voice. But yeah. You go fly. You go die. Someone is still alive. Oh, you are. But not for long. Ah. Okay, go into the corner, you. Uh, okay. Sarah's being a ghost for half a second. Yeah, that, I think that's uh, one of the Yankee moments. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there anything we can get here? 
But yeah, that was a way to sneak around all of them if wanted. Yeah. Since is there something here? There's hmm. another human faction. Is but huh? faction of wizards. I don't know what they worship, if they worship at all. Okay. But do you know uh, the normal human faction worship a light dragon? Elves worship well, for rest dragon. The Nagas worship a water dragon, and the Nagas are good guys here. Do they don't appear this one for they were not made yet. All right. And the dwarves they worship a lava dragon. Some mana potions. Okay. I can say this, they really hate demons. If there is a race that really hate demons, it's the dwarves. For they see three demons as a defiler of fire. Okay, that's a new term, a defiler of fire. Yeah, I think I actually did rhyme. I don't know exactly the term, but yeah, I only know they, they see demons as a just Past dice in fire, and I hate it. Instead of just standing here. Uh, let's see. Scroller freeze. <laughs> and that is what freeze does if you aim it at the floor. <laughs> It's like a magic banana. Yeah, actually, okay, see that. If they were to remaster this game with updated graphic, which is still impressive for how old it is. Just so you know, dear, Menelag is expendable. The crystal isn't. What do you mean? The crystal was for Menelag. Menelag is convenient, that's all. What matters is getting the crystal to that temple, and you with it. <laughs> okay. But, I was say, would you love if they actually just made a remaster of this game, just gave it the extra polish it needs and all that? Yeah. Hopefully not remove too much of the jank, since that is part of the, the fun of this game. I don't know. I think bamboo slivers under the fingernails works best. Sure, but I think Bam you I think you idiots falling to your bad death is the best torture method. <laughs> There we go. I noticed the oil. Uh, oh, uh, okay, that might be getting a bit out of hand. Um, you didn't think, think things through, did you, Helian? I'm not your pal, buddy. Oh, hello. Can we just... No, we can't just execute you while you're stunned. Um, let's just blame that on the necromancers and the black guards. Do you have any marshmallows? Yeah, sadly, no. Need yeah, some extra mana. We haven't been using magic too much, but it's still good to have a good amount of mana potions, since we'll be getting to the real fun stuff with the spells eventually. And especially the free spell, since once you have that, you can <laughs> you can have a lot of Looney Tunes antics with that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, another crate. There we go. Also, this game also has something that I praised in Turok on Sunday. Is that little lean. It it was a lot more noticeable in Turok, but that lean when you move side to side, that it, I, that adds a lot of uh, fluidity to it, don't if you ask me. I don't need to run. I just need to kick you out the window. There we go. And we can steal your shield, I believe. After we chuck you out. Banana. 
And Black Guard's shield. I believe we should be able to use this. Oh no, we oh, also need melee combat too. And as you can see, it took some damage because he used it to block our attacks. A nice attention to detail. I've never actually taken a look at this book. Let's see. Many are the years that will pass before the shadow on the face of the sun uh, does foretell doom. For then will the ca then will the cage of light be made as weak as one of iron, and the taint of ages past drift uh, of ages past drift on the winds of the world. Then shall one king's bride bear another's child, and the dead themselves make war on the living and infernal alike. Seek not the skull of the seven dragon, for it is wrapped in shadows and hidden away from the eyes of man, lest it be used for great evil. For what it has wrought, it cannot make in the hands of one whose blood flows from two worlds. Okay. Uh, yeah, now we need to, to rush because we need to follow that ghoul. Uh, can I get up? Nice night sky! And yeah, that were, that must have been the prophecy that was spoken of. Oh, uh, we don't want to. F there it is. Ah, come on. Oh, chapter three: Dead Man's Trial. They killed him just like that man. Like it's gone. Not if you follow it across the rooftops quickly. This is a dead end. Mm. Try the other. One. Here we go. There it is. Uh, I see it. It won't get away. Jump across. You can do it. Exit. Oops. Perhaps that foul thing took the high road. There's no time. We have to get through there. Yeah, there's not much room to talk here. Oops. Come here, you. What the? Oh, they're hanging. I thought those were floating hams. Oh, come on. There's no other way. Jump. Oh, almost got him. Oh, okay, just take his fucking hat off. Oop. That was going to break. There it is, on the wall, quite literally. And there. Oop. And now we can slow down again. Now, where is that thing? There it is. Okay. We get two skill points from that. And now we can... S yeah. Now we can slow down a bit again. And we can spend those points. And the first off, they're going into stealth. Sneak behind... Uh, sneak close behind an enemy without being spotted and perform a power strike to kill in a single strike. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. Because okay. there's something okay. here. Yeah. Hmm? Uh, in this game, later on in the other games, there comes way more after this. There's kobolds. Okay. And they're allied with dwarves. That's not something you hear <laughs> often. There's more. The kobolds are not. They're not, as they in German and Dutch, goblins. They're not rats. They're not dragon people. They are... hamsters. <laughs> okay, uh, Hamtaro helping uh, Doran Iron Shield to fight back the undead. Yeah, and Darkest, and they're only crossbows. Okay. I think I don't know which one it was. Was, was, was here, there was a six to seven. I think it's at least in the same one where the Nagas came in. And that's one way of getting in here. Go ahead and be Wait, do we have no skill points to learn to use the shields now? Or um... some other combat thing? I still feel we might need some combat uh, training. Yeah, so far we've managed. Uh, oh, okay, so you, you require... Yeah, this number two is required for shields Your to be used at all. The ghouls will have our tribes for dessert if it isn't. Hey, it's secure. Stop worrying. I could use a little bloodletting. Tribes? Tribes. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. We could get the freeze spell. Uh, oh, pickpocket enemies. Steal. Okay, so there are keys. I must have forgotten that. It has been a while since I played this game. And okay, burglar. That would have allowed us to spot the trap. For now, I, I'm I'm going to save up uh, <coughs> for okay. skills like that. I thought first it was a like scorpion was approaching you, but it was just a, just a shadow of Shane. Okay. Let's try a bit of stealth here. Caught another wizard spy yesterday. Yeah, I heard he told us about the boat. Who did the oh. no. Couldn't sleep though. The jerk was screaming for hours. Yeah. And oh, yeah, that's how it on. backstabs. How inconsiderate. You were the one making him scream, you bastards. Yeah. Uh, hello. Here the raid went well. Well enough. We got what we wanted. Lost some men and some ghouls, though. If you got the crystal, Lord Arantir will be pleased. The rest is just details. Bloody hell. They let ghouls go out raiding, but not us. Speak for yourself. I'm headed to the pier in an hour to capture some wizard ship. That one's going to be risky. Lots of guards and wizards down there. Why do we need that ship anyway? Arantir wants it. You want to go ask him? And that is the fireball spell. Don't move, buddy. Nice! Oh, uh, what? Okay, the game just crashed. Uh. That's... That's a first. <laughs> uh. But at least yeah, we got to show up that. Yeah, I was still wondering if this is case of it would be better between the Steam versions and... It should... If it's on Steam, it should at least be up to date enough to be more stable. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll buy and download the full Steam uh, uh, version, uh, Steam version, because this were, like I said at the start, this is the game imported from a uh, disc onto Steam. So technically, it is the same game, but it might have, lack a bit of polish. Uh, let's see, Dead Man's Trail, eleven oh four. There's no 7-Eleven. Yeah, that's the closest one. This is back in the sewers, I think. We'll, we should probably start hitting save buttons. <laughs> yeah, down here. Okay. Go ahead. 
Oh, hello. I'm not your buddy, pal. Oh, oh, almost. Okay. Well, time to not stealth this then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> now I'm really just Donkey Kong throwing bells downstairs. I need backup. <laughs> oh, miss. How, how did that hit? That was a bit big for it. For it. Oh, there we go. That was a bit big for its uh, hitbox. Oh, still coming at me. Okay. And I, I think I managed to trick the game there for a second. Yeah. It did the uh, throw dagger as if uh, going for a, for a retreating enemy, but I, I think I hit one that wasn't going to be retreating with it. Uh, yeah, uh, let's... There's the key. Okay. Okay, sounds like this place could come down any second. Right. Um... Should still be some stuff to grab around the place, so let's do that. Some cooked ribs. That's real. And that is where we got in. Yeah. What is that groaning? Anyway, it's good. not my belly. Oh, hello. Ow. But yeah, they should have noticed me a lot <laughs> off the, there earlier. With the fireball spell. Speaking of, you guys want to see a magic trick? And like that, you're gone. Oh, yeah, smart, smart enough to back away from that thing, huh? There we go. That's the first one we actually hit in the back with that one. As you guys, can we use bows and arrows? Yep. You should probably do that sometimes. They're, they're mostly useful for that, I'd say. Uh, how was that all even standing if you can bring with one arrow? Uh, game physics. <laughs> <coughs> Now then, I believe there is something up here. Oh. Oh. Ah, me. Okay. If you can do specific adrenaline kills, or at least animations, if you manage to hit them in a specific body part. And I was aiming for the leg with that, and hello, longbow. Yep. Weird place for one to hang? Uh, this looks like a barracks of sorts, or at least a guard outpost. Yeah, do why have it hanging in the middle of a path? Archery. I'm guessing, though, shooting into your beverage might not be the best idea. Yeah, I think someone put it, uh, it uh, in a very bad spot. And yeah. Not gonna use the armor? Uh, no. Let's see. Assassin's Garb, one armor, increases stealth, requires stealth one. And let's see. We could get free. I, I think I'm going to save up for Burglar. So yeah, we, we will be going mixed with our skill allocation, but it is going to go heavily into stealth. So you're becoming Bilbo. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, there might still be a thing or two hidden around. Another way we could have gotten around here. Okay, there must be something dead nearby with the flies. 
Um, didn't see too much upstairs. There we go. I should probably start using those stone king potions. I think that's the third or second we got. Either way, we can go down. Oh, now I remember something else about re the game's religion. Something about the orcs and goblins. If you get yourself killed, your father will be most displeased. You really know my father? Oh, yes. I've known him. Okay. Hey, you heard about that girl at the wizard's place? That little blonde number? What about her? Ready for this? I overheard Arantir saying she's tied up in the prophecy, the dark messiah, and all that. What? That old legend that when the last falcon dies? Yep. The demon prison busts open wide. But we all know prophecies are a lot of crap. No kidding. Some fortune teller among the slaves told me I was gonna die today. <laughs> oh dear. He's going to be proven a lot more right than you think. Yeah, with, and, right, without further introduction. <laughs> go on. Hey, you go on. I was going to say without further interruption, and then I interrupt you again. I was going to say that the orcs and goblins worship uh, elemental spirits, and that's I think that's uh, a, basically the other religion I know. I'm very limited. I only small red. I should probably read into the lore a bit more. Or probably could it be well crafted actually. Okay. Oh. Let's try mushrooms. and sneak around. And have more luminous. Still don't eat it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Or you'll be Shitting gluey shit. <laughs> I'm looking forward to flooding my new boots. Don't try to run. Oh, he's Get him. Ah! Oh, what the heck happened with that? Oh, oh. <laughs> I guess that works for a backstab. Well, that's one prophecy fulfilled, at least. That's a fancy kit. Uh, um... Where is it? Chris, a handwritten note. Let's see. The longbow requires archery one. That one requires po uh, stealth two. And uh, stealth three. Uh, actually, we can swap out these blades for these. And yeah, these look a lot better, if you ask me. Bloody heck. Like, I think the reason Chris are shaped like they do is to uh, increase increase bleeding effect uh, when you slash someone. Yeah. Oh, hello. But oh, it's armor. <laughs> and the, the Naga silk sword. Okay, so the Naga's were... Okay. Because they were sort of might introduce, just never, of, never appeared officially until later games. Yeah. Because they would have appeared in some stories perhaps then and were told about, but yeah, the Nagas are the Asian faction in this world. And okay. yes, they are summarized. Let's see. As we, as we decided last week, I will help you enter the warehouse in the city. I'll wait in the caverns tomorrow at midnight. Just come with my reward and you'll have everything you need. Don't worry about our business. I can keep a secret. Yeah, the dead certainly are good at keeping secrets. Dumbass. Oh dear. Hmm. I, I, I can't have I've never seen anyone use the Naga Katana. <laughs> yeah, that's because it requires critical hits, as you know, having that equipped. I, I guess Wait, with what? the with the ring of the weapon master and the critical hit skill up, you could probably get a lot more critical hits. But yeah, I've personally never found much use into it. I'd say, but I'm kind of curious how effective the Naga Sword is, and I also wonder how the heck did they get their hands on a Naga Sword? 
und also Naga Katana. Naga Katana. That, that, that's, that runs on the tongue so weirdly. Hey, Nagatana. Okay, Come this on. is a little something that Come we can. On. <laughs> so, Move to Dragon Smithy, a book explaining how to use a forge. Chapter 3 The Well Forged Blades. Select the metal that will provide the base. Think not of uh, mere iron, for this is an arcane weapon. For your purpose, steel is fine, but flame gold is the best. Place a bar of your chosen metal into the pot for smelting. Ease the pot over the uh, top of the fire. Ensure that your fire burns like the breath of Arcos. Use the bellows to increase the heat. Slide the pot over the mold and then pour the molten metal into it. The mold should be within a small uh, tank of water. Pull the lever to raise the water level and by Ashala's uh, blessing the arm shall be tempered. Uh, remove the blade and place it once more in the fire. Wait for uh, wait with Shalana's patient until it is red hot. A weapon shaved too soon is a weapon lost. Place it upon the anvil and take up the uh, smith's hammer. Strike without hesitation, fearlessly driving out the impurities and shaping the blade until by the Elot's grace uh, your, <coughs> your efforts are rewarded. Uh, you must then craft a hilt for your weapon. Leather strips for this purpose are kept near the forge. May Asha guide your hand. And yeah, we just found a bar of steel. Asha? Why did you say... Wait, is Asha the spider goddess or not? I wonder now. Why would they say me... Why did they mention Asha there? There we go. It's molten. Move it back. Automatically tips over. Get the blades. And let's grab that. Nope, not yet. We need the hammer though. There's the hammer. Put... There we go. And that's we have this. And there we have our own longsword. <laughs> Must be a special longsword though. Wait, it is a special one, ain't it? Yep. Yeah, not really, it's just plus three damage. Which is the most that we have. Actually, it's the second most that we have. Next to the gun uh, the gunning Chris. Okay, do I thought we would make a magic weapon. Yeah, for that we need flame gold. Which we should be able to find eventually somewhere along the way, uh, but not okay, yet. Okay, I thought we were making a flame gold sword at this time. <laughs> nah, this early in the game? Nah. And yeah, this is how we could have snuck past them. Oh, hello there. Ring of Arcane Brilliance. We already have one of those. We can't wear another ring. Actually, what is with this chainmail we found earlier? What the? Yep. <laughs> Come on, it misses them both. Why is there combat music? Is there a spider trying to bite us? Yes, there is. Okay, then you get the first, be the first victim of our new long swords. Yep. Okay. Oop! Don't fall. Yeah, the brightest torch in the tunnel. That is that is a line that has always stuck with me somewhat. I, I kind of like that line. It's simple and... Yeah, it gets the point across. Okay, I think that way is... Nope. Forward to where we need to go. I think you want to post a note. Hmm? On the door, right ah. there. 
Pay attention when you open the cells. The villagers keep trying to escape. Okay. Well, we know what we'll be doing then. Zoom tights. Ah, thank you. It's been a while I sneezed on stream. No, Actually, I yeah. There was a time where I, for months in a row, I had to sneeze every stream. They don't Ooh. stop right there, or yep. it gets annoyed. Yeah, they can still spot you if you get too close. And Next. yeah, they will. <laughs> there you are. Give up. There you go. And he's dead. <laughs> I like how the barrels fall apart in parts, or they break. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can you use the pickaxe? Pickaxe, pickaxe. It's by the hit that one's body. It doesn't make for the best sword, and you can only do this with it, but you can use it. Hmm. Well, it's probably very hurtful if you sneak behind someone and just... Yeah. Pick them down. Mm. Oh, God, did I just... Ow. What the, the heck here it is there? Un... I blame you, Pelia, for this. What was that with the... Cells? It, the way it's hung here makes you think it should be that way, but apparently not. Or is that... No, this is a waterway. Hmm. Okay, okay so we're just a general thing. Alright. Is that him? Yes, that's Aaron here. Don't make a sound. His power is beyond anything you've ever seen. Look at that look! He's opening a portal between the Necromancer Hive and the tunnels here. That takes rare power. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure what happens if you actually get spotted. to draw their attention. Shut up, both of you. Really? I walked into a spot I could not walk Take out of. The troops to the boat, others to scour Menelaus. What are you waiting for? More ghouls, I think, for the final assault. Perfect. Let's get out of here before anyone notices. Such a marvelous performance, my God. Where is this? God! They've seen the exit. Find the river. It's our only chance. Uh, which way? That's not that way. Or, okay, it is that way. There <laughs> it. Okay, that is very obviously blocked. The free city of Stonehelm to meet a sorcerer named Menelag. He and I have certain shared allegiances. Right now, he's looking for an artifact called the Skull of Shadows for reasons of his own that are doomed to fail. He thinks you're going to help him, the fool. At least not without this. The Shantary Crystal that you retrieved. However, boy, I don't trust you out there alone. I need someone to hold your lead. Shh. 
One can travel lighter than two, Sarah. Don't worry. You'll learn to enjoy the pain. You can call me Xana. Oh dear. Sarath, wake up. Easy there. What happened? Xana? What's going on? Who? What are you, really? That dream was just a necromancer's curse. Don't believe any of it, dear. I'm a friend, an ally. And I could be even more. Yeah, it's obvious it what she is. Oh, hello there. Sarah, praise Elath, you're safe. I was so worried about you. You must have been through a lot. Did you find the crystal? Please tell her no, just to see her reaction. Yes, I took it back. Wonderful. Except that now the necromancers have taken our ship. We can't get to the island. If only my uncle were here. Wait, Seth, could you do it? Get on board and lower the gangplank? Then my men could board it. We'd steal it right back from Arantir. I'll take care of it. Just be ready when the gangplank goes down. Just let me move this. Ooh, so decisive. Trying to impress someone. Shut up, shut up. Guards, and our ship is armed with ballast. Yep, we kind of don't want to be on the <laughs> wrong end of one of those. Good luck. I'll be waiting. Those are just crates. Ooh. It seems as though Menelag's taste for luxury extended to his ship. Oh dear. Okay. Any floats? Now, I said I was going for this one first, uh, but I'm not sure if we have anything that can, you know, that needs lock picking. And I certainly, I know for pretty certain there's no traps on this ship. So instead, let's get freeze and have some fun. How cold hearted of you. Okay, that was a bad pun. I don't think the direct approach is working. Gee, you you think? Okay. We should be out of their firing range here. Okay. Miss. I don't know if there's any fish or anything in these waters, but yeah, knowing the last place we were from that Arcane uh, had a hand in. I, oh, hello, I remember now. We kind of, we probably don't want to risk meeting the wildlife too much. Yeah. Now, I like that you can look away whilst you're interacting with something. Yeah, it gives you a bit of a Better shots to be observant. Be with his body, Sarath. I've got uses in mind for it, you know. Careful now. These are tight quarters for fighting in. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what? Is, is that his head? Yes. How did you get decapitated by getting crushed? Wait, wait, look on top. Look on top of the box. How did blood end up there? Yeah, I guess you could ask the same. Actually, no, these are blast uh, marks. <laughs> I didn't expect a blood fountain to come from that. Okay. Um, not sure. 
Um, I'm trying to get up because there's a door here. Yep. Uh, oh, we reached uh, halfway through stream. Yep. Okay, that one's blocked, so we'll have to go this way. Three bells left on our watch. Quit your bitching. It's an easy enough duty. If I didn't bitch, how would you know it was me? Uh. <laughs> Let's see, if I break this, they're going to notice. Oh, hello. Oh. And I'd forgotten they can use stairs. Stairs? You mean a ladder? Yep. Yep. Uh, two hours in and my brain is already giving up, huh? Now, where's the other? Well, where's the other? You did shut down his brain. It's locked. Oil jar. Yeah, maybe no, don't use an oil jar with fire on a ship. He's moving the other way. How he's not hearing us like this. Bonk, 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 bonk. Yep. Just a second too late. Okay. It's key. not nice to go through other people's things. Birds of a feather, aren't we? Okay, some more food. Now then. Uh, okay, <laughs> I think Sarah was doing the can can for a moment there. Moving on, and okay, this is here, and oh, key for the lower parts, and I went all the way around the stupid pillar. Okay, yeah, um, I don't feel like we need a break yet, so another one of these. I feel like I need to grab a sandwich and other things. Okay, a boar's head. Levitate. Wait. Don't touch it. It might be no. alive. The signs have been clear for 20 years, ever since Queen Isabel's war. The last words of the prophecy of the demon messiah are coming true as we speak. Ten centuries, and that is all. So said he whose name we dare not speak. We are fortunate that Lord Arantir is prepared to play his part, as it has been foreordained. May the Mother of Silence bless our works and guide our hands as we perform our holy labors. And think they thought they wiped us all out 20 years ago. And before them, the wizards and many others. But when all of them have crumbled to dust, we will still be here. Okay, sorry if that was audible. I opened up one of the bottles of drinks when that I prepared. Sail? They it's still need it. more undead on board to man the sails. Lord Arantir will be bringing them. Well, yeah, these are and necromancers. And a temple and glory. We will make Stoneham a tomb. Oh, and noticed. Okay. okay, let's show what happens when you use freeze directly on a target. Yeah, come on, stop. Yeah. That went a bit, wait, a bit too fast. Oh yeah, it basically petrifies them. There we go. It's one dealt with. And that's... Well, well, wait, we don't have the... We don't need the power charge for the coup de grace? Okay. Didn't it specifically say that you need to at the start? 
Hmm. What the? Oh well. Yeah, just gonna go and grab a sandwich. Okay. Uh, that's a fake door. So, um, yeah, the usual. Don't die. <laughs> no promises. I'll just take it a bit slow. Now, there is something in this ship that will be of some entertainment. Oop. I want to see that. Just let me wait for it till I get my food. And this is what we they have in these cages. I wonder what would happen if they got loose. Hmm? <laughs> oh, that's so, so tempting, but I want to do the thing with when the fear is here. Yeah, this is basically just a uh, vitamin drink. Uh, rich in vitamin A, C, and E, so they call it Ace Drink. Alright, uh, let's see. We have five points. With the spells, I want to go to in the Fireball and then to Inferno later on, because those are bo both nice. We, we already saw what Fireball does. We could also go to Lightning Bolt, though. I'm a bit less sure on that one. Combat skills... Um, I'm not entirely sure how my, how far we'd want to go with this. Like, the zoom would be uh, useful with this, but... Honestly, the bows aren't too useful for combat, I'd say. With this, Poison Resistance might be nice. Uh, extra Stamina, always nice. Uh, mana regenerates on its own. And we're not going to use magic too, too much, I think. So let's just see what we get. Uh, what we'll, we'll see what we pick up over time. Heal of... A heal spell is, of course, very useful. It always is. And charm. Never really used that one. And we have sanctuary. Create a magic shield that will protect you from physical attacks and magical protect us for a short period of time. And yeah, we can weaken an enemy for a short uh, period of time. Adrenaline effects permanently shrink your enemy. Yeah, spells can have adrenaline effects. Like here, permanently freeze a character. Uh, cast multiple projectiles at the same time. It allows you to grab living creatures and massive objects. And nothing on fire trap. Fireball. Kill your target opponent. Okay, so an instant kill. And someone is trying to ping me on Discord. Or is causing pings. Uh, let me check that for a second. I'll double check on my light source here. Is that causing a fair difference? I'm yep. not seeing it, so I can just remove this one. Welcome back. Okay, who is... Is, is someone trying to ping? Hmm. Well, I'll just put it here. Now then. This might be of some interest to you because oh, he's still here. You are, you are just so tempting. They have a cargo of co of uh, goblins. You're about to call them kobolds, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> these aren't hamsters. Okay, you are just too too tempting. And now, mayhem. Let them it's, deal with each other. Okay, let's see if I understand right. When I combine human blood and in blood, they go goblins. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know it's a bad day when you're surrounded by four goblins. Armored clubs. 
Okay, they should be friendly towards us. Yes. And yeah, it is every single... Every, every single character has that thing with their eyes that they just shine for some reason. Or reflect like that. I think they want to add... I think they want to add that to the... Uh, probably not had the technology to do it properly. At least it was better than uh, Oblivion. <laughs> Some pies. Uh, Oblivion didn't try like red light reflection in eyes, I believe. Yeah, they did try to make them very eyes very realistic, and it just came looking just weird. Especially like. The eyes looked too good compared to how horrible the bodies were. I still to this day don't understand how people were praising how awesome the graphics Oblivion was. Yeah, for the and time I'll tell you, at least. I, I, even for the time I disagreed strongly. Uh, yeah, goblins will be fighting later on. Oop. Yep. Uh, no, no, no. It was the wizards that created the goblins and orcs. I believe there's a book about that somewhere in the game. Yeah. This is kind of funny for in in Heroes of Mathematic 5, orcs, the, the, the orcs and goblins end up allying themselves with the wizards. Okay, that switching animation can be annoying. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you go sit in the corner and think about what you've done. Uh. Yeah, that was kind of oddly cartoony, but a bit more brutal than cartoony. It makes a both. Oh. I'll do more than move. I'll stab at your freaking kneecaps. Okay. Okay, uh... Wrong one. I, I think the animation can also... depend on how... what uh, way you're swinging. Instead of just being... what body parts you hit. Another wizard's rope. We already have one of those. Not really any need for them. What's the... Rusty key. Yep. Uh, uh, <laughs> don't cheat and f hit me through the door, you stupid. And that's the ballistas done uh, dealt with. But I still think there's enemies on top here. This is where I really want to make use of the free spell. Yeah, clear any possible threats. So you won't move until they are all gone. So, where are they? There's one of them. Hello, boys. Okay, keep on following. <laughs> you go swimming. <laughs> Are you the only one left? Oh, not enough mana. Oh, hello. Um, oh, didn't think they were that close on my ass. Nope. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> we need to get up ourselves. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, it can just be a lot of fun just freezing the floor and watching those idiots tumble down. <laughs> and now we have to go all the way back around. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep. I think I just heard a necromancer die. And I'm not hiding. I'm quite loudly stomping around the place here. Look that I'm not jumping on the two goblin. Might as well snatch that up. Oh yeah, it can just be so easy to get environmental kills with the freeze spell. And hello. There's something shiny over there. So that way we go. So, oh, an elven bow. Okay, we'll take that. Ooh. It leads there. We got the key for this. So oh, let's loot. Pull on that. Yep. Gonna kick it open. That's another scroll of fireball, scroll of freeze. These freeze scrolls we can dump since we have the full spell. Actually, they may be useful if we run out of mana. Since yeah, they I don't, don't yeah. use mana. Have uh, okay. you forgotten something? Hmm? The bow? Yeah, I picked it up, didn't I? Elven bow. Needs, oh. oh, it needs critical hit too. Might be worth it. Okay. Um. This gives us a chance to use the katana a little bit. And the bow for some... Uh, if we were to be needing to use the bow at some point. Okay, nice little <laughs> note that they actually make it sound like a bell. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's, there's more of you than I thought there was. <laughs> the approach should be clear. Your pretty little friend can come on board without becoming a pretty little pincushion. I'll just lower the pretty little gangplank then. Sarath. And there we go. Oh, the honest health now. I. I never noticed that before. Okay. Is that something they added in? Or s hmm. Either way, I'll be going silent because we're headed for another transition. You're astonishing, Sarath. I'll free the crew and get the ship ready to sail. Just keep those monsters from getting on board. They oh, right. Me. Showing I off for the other pretty girl, are we? I forgot. They're going to, they're going to attack us. Um I'll get us moving if you keep them off the ship. Guard the gangplank. Looks oh like the Commanders found reinforcements. Oh, Stop them. At least they can only come at you one at a time. Get away from me. At Liana. Sarah, be careful. You'll get cut off. For once she has the right idea. Easy for her to say. <laughs> yep, not enough mana. Yep. Skill before I kill you. Yep, yep. Okay, we're upgrading stamina. And no, you don't. Uh, you're supposed to be an archer. You're supposed to stay at the back. <laughs> really, Liana? <laughs> you can't even properly aim. Anna. Okay. If you have to, not enough. If you don't have enough mana, don't have it turn. <laughs> don't have it look like the spell is ready. Oh, they're they're actually hitting her. Hey, you. 
God, at the very least, she knows the heal spell. That is what she did earlier. There we go. Any more? I can, yeah, I can hear one more. Hmm. We're taking that. And yeah, yo, ow. you can also hit enemies into uh, or off of ledges if you hit them in the right direction and if they're close enough to it. Oh, can I? Yep, I can miss. Okay, that hasn't happened a lot. There we go. Let's get moving. I can smell Aaron here. He's on his way. We did it. On to the island. I wouldn't have thought. You're amazing. I already knew that. Tergon, take care of the crew. Sarath and I will raise the anchor. Your orders, milady. Sarath? Uh, could you come with me? It's, um, important. <laughs> I'm not good at this. Sarath, when my uncle died, I thought everything was lost. But somehow you managed to get the crystal, the boat. You saved us all. You saved me. I feel nauseous. Wake me when it's over. I, I just wanted to thank you again and and to tell you that you've become very important to me. Ready to sail. Oh, um, yes. Cast off then, Tergon. Can we get the boat moving? This cabin could use a breeze to clear the hot air. Almost jealous. You dance divinely, Lord Arantir. We are all part of a much greater dance, my dear. I've simply performed the steps for longer than most. Well, well, look who's here. So good of you to join us, Sarah. Do you want to learn about your destiny or your doom? Neither are what you think. He'll learn soon enough. Go on, Leon. Dance with him for as long as he'll allow it. First victim, don't worry, boy, she would be your last. So, this is the island of the temple. Yes, sir. Our camp was on the far side. We're lucky. The island is full of hostile orc warriors, goblins, too. The temple is riddled with their tunnels. Sadly, their hate is justified. Wizards created orcs for shock troops during the War of the Blood Moon, fusing demon blood with human flesh. They won't take kindly to her presence. The beach looks clear of orcs, milady. Hopefully we can avoid them, though they're very protective of the temple. Come on, let's go. I'm guessing that guy must be the captain, because that was bloody obvious. <laughs> And also, yeah, for, for the time, yeah, for the time this game was made, 
The face animation are fantastic. Or I think Orcs gave from the devil. Drove us out. Blocked the entrance. Some men are still trapped. And said they saw a Baokai. Baokai. Baokai? He's delirious oh. too. Please help, Sareth. They'll be fighting ahead. What's a Baokai? Oh. A degenerate dragon, but they don't live around here. Elath, help us if one does. Come on. Uh, the, 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 the texture. Oh. Warriors, hunters, hunters. The spider goddess has spoken. These things and demon friends must not despoil our sanctuary. Remember our oaths, our ancestors, for the clan, for the blood. <laughs> Yeah, the animation and texture work is great. It's just that sometimes it gets funky, like at nights, with how every how everyone's eyes are shining like uh, freaking laser beams. Yeah, but still, for when this time was made, it might have been the best animated one there was. For many mm. games that try, really struggle to get the it too smooth. But yeah, I agree. They at night they did uh, fail with the eyes a little bit. A bit too shiny. I'm ready. Okay, I think we can tell her to wait here. Okay, there. We, that's because, yeah. Oh. Oh. I was going to try and be stealthy, but never mind. Yeah, these orcs. These will be a bit more difficult than uh, the black guards. Yeah. And these are and not they, your I'm... typical orcs as well. Yeah, there also comes a bit more variety here. And good oh. god, I just remember... <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's quite the, the drawing hand you have there. Bloody heck. Uh, I can say this. I know what a Paukai is due to playing the strategy game. And it's basically a lightning wyvern. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, that didn't set them all off, I think. But really. <laughs> uh, I think that uh, a wizard's apprentice like Liana should know that orcs are resistant to fire and still to use his flame dart on them. But they're uh, resistant, not immune. Yep. Yeah. Now again, I don't think there is this. There's only one lightning spell, which is lightning bolt. We could get that. Ooh. <clears throat> Actually, we can drop those uh, daggers. Uh, the combat staff we could still keep some use of. Uh, telekinesis is a bit situational. Flame arrow. Uh, let's put that there, that there, and that there. And let's put on that one since we don't have any use. Okay. Yeah, the orcs are just as vulnerable to getting backstabbed as normal humans. Gosrat say many orcs want Gosrat Shaman. Wonder who many orcs is. Hm. If we worry a day, many orcs take his head. Then only one vote for Gosrat, not two. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Okay, I could just charge up, but they are—they are a lot tougher than the black guards. Even if that previous fight didn't really show it, but that was because we were facing two archers and not full warriors. Just be glad these orcs are not on the traditional mount. 
Wolves. Aurox. No, no, Aurox. Okay, those I don't know. Uh, and it... It's unreal animal, Hilian. Uh, they are extinct now, the Dark Dark 1600. They were... They were basically giant cows. They used to live in Germany. But they got hunted to extinction by the nobility there during the 1600s. And yes, they were big enough for you to ride. Probably is they were not domesticated, they were wild cows. So yeah, yeah, you must just go to a force to see a giant cow. Weaver. Bigger than a buffalo. Uh, let's see. Let's throw a fireball. Orc shield, 60 only because it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's wooden planks, basically. Uh, poison Chris, Longbow, Naga Silk Sword, Blackguard Shield, Staff of Reflection, uh, the, the Magic Attack, Lightning Bolt. Use Power Strike to perform Magic Attack once weapon is charged. Parry to capture any Magic Projectile cast at you and charge your weapon. Yeah, that would be very useful. And Cleaver, plus 7 damage, but it requires Strength 2. Uh, let's, let's get Burglar. Because I think this is where we'll either start finding stuff that needs to be lockpicked and more traps. And let's see. Cost two skill points for that. Strength will need six. Mm. Let's On this, let's get stealth three. Then we'll focus more on spells and combat skills. Okay. I think we need to deal with all of the orcs in this area before we can move on. Yeah, let's, I got two, 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 let's see. Let's see. Implod made goblins. And I'm sure which demons made uh, orcs. Nightmare blood made centaurs. I'm not sure what they used for harpies. But the orc, fem orc femurs were made from Stucky by. This probably makes sense. Uh oh. Oh, come on. Uh oh. I could really about to step in in the butt. Nope. I think those were. Uh -oh. Yeah, I think those were meant to spawn eventually. Um, okay, keep a distance from the archers. Hmm. Okay, that's one dealt with. And that is also what we can use telekinesis for. Uh, okay, I didn't notice that we were low on health. <laughs> okay. How far? Okay, yeah, these were. Once all of these were dealt with, they would spawn. So can we stay hidden from them? What is this going to beeline to us? Hmm. What the? Yeah, they don't know. How did that he fall there. off? Hmm? There's one body from the other building. Just fall off the building. A dead one. Okay, I spotted. Wait, oh no, it's a bird. Oh, is it a bird? What's this going on? Yeah, the, uh, enemies jumping is to, just looks plain weird as like that as well. Uh, what? Oh, those were magic potions. I thought those were the healing ones. Oh, that's Liana spells. Okay, let me get... Yes. <laughs> and that is what telekinesis lets you do... If you have... Uh, adrenaline on it. And there we go. Let's see. And yeah, Liana will heal us whenever we need it. 
He's basically a heal bot for us. <laughs> Which you're probably gonna need. Can I can I lift it no okay I can lift it normally as well. But okay. yeah, with no, adrenaline it kills instantly, I think. Yeah, and now I saw what I mistook for a body falling over. It was, it was a damn crow. <laughs> You. Ben, oh yeah, it's it's a spider temple. We need to get through here, but the lever's broken, and if I blast it, every orc on the island will hear. Could you find a tunnel underneath that would get us in? Nope. I think that goes here. Yep. Uh oh. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, alone at last. There must be a switch of some kind around here. Spiders. <laughs> Time to resource my headphones. Where did the first one? Come on, Sarah. It isn't that hard to hit a freaking spider. Okay. Who would that back back? I forgot about these things. Yeah, some sort of demon spawn things. I, yeah, I I don't know what do so actually. You've become quite the killer, haven't you? Hey. Okay, they caught me off guard. I had forgotten about them, but they don't appear the other games I played. No, no, those can't be. Yeah, I know if they carry old beholders from the the older games, do the beholders do not look like that? The beholders have eyes. Uh, uh, it was. I still hate the design miss? of uh, beholders from the third uh, Heroes Three. More of just how something? disgusting it looks. This way. There it is. You won't be needing that bow. Go ahead and take it. I'm sure it'll be useful. And that does something, I think, if we break this. Hmm. Okay, I thought it would do something. But yeah, we just found a very useful item. Oh, not the longbow. Where is it? There it is, the rope bow. Fires arrow. No, oh, that... Fires arrow that spawns ropes when they hit a wooden surface. Okay. So basically, these are Garrett's rope arrows, but with a bow that <laughs> has an infinite amount. Okay. Before we do that, though, there was something the other way. Which we need, for which we need this bow. Come on, Garrett. Get over. No, not Garrett, Sarah. <laughs> Garrett, uh, Garrett was a god. No, that is Garth. Garrett, uh, that I mean, is from Thief. Ah! There. Do need to be a bit careful when the rope is swinging around like that, or you can get stuck in the walls. Oops. Okay. Oh, I thought you died there. There we go. Now, uh, how much food did we... We do have to be a bit careful with our health. Since there's only a limited amount of stuff that we can find. Poison bow. Full health, antidote. And... Nothing else. Okay, let's clear out a bit. Um, <laughs> poison bow, poison bow. Something about it, remember. I think you need it. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Art longbow, archery two, critical hit on that one. I'm I'm going to sort things for a moment. Uh, poison bow, cleaver, armor and such. Uh, staff. I'll leave there for now. Pickaxe, which might have some use later. Potions, 
let's put those there. Rings next to the armor. Uh, weapons can go there. And we've already read that's how it can go. Okay, that's a bit more organized. A bit. There. Okay. We have... Yeah, we have some points left. I'm going to save them up for if we might need them. But... Yeah, we need them to save up for stealth at the moment. But once that is done, we can play around more. Maybe even get the critical strike powers. Or skills. So we can use the katanas. Yeah. Okay. There's something about the poison bow that tells me it's important. I'm trying to remember we what. It. It. Great. Did you find anything down in the tunnels to open it? Usually it's a chain. Okay, so we need to break. I, I was hitting that. Oh. Of course, it's metal. So that is why they had a scroll of fireball next to it, I think, or fire trap. I forget which one fireball. specifically it was. We can just equip things from our inventory like that. Uh, really? Okay, let's try just a fireball then. And I, I really just like this. <laughs> it's a freaking crystal ball or something. Really? I tried to pull it. <laughs> okay. Are you telling me you you didn't even bother try pulling it before you start try to destroy it? <laughs> I thought you had to break it. That's great. Let's get to the entrance. <laughs> this is helium, folks. What? Oh come on! Really? Even she got surprised by you crashing. Uh, at least it should have auto-saved right there and then, I think. I hope Hopefully. so. Maybe it's crashed due to an auto-save? Maybe. Or uh, wait, If we no, turn it that off that. and it crashes again... Uh, Temple of the Spider, yeah, yeah. 21... Yeah, you realize Last yeah. time you crashed, it was not near an auto save, so it's not the auto save. Uh, yeah, it, it's just an oddity. And we've passed two and a half hours with no issues so far. Or no issues except for the game crashing and di Discord disconnecting the stream or the stream to the tier. Um, Dame. And I th think it just froze up. Well, <laughs> speak of the devil and it will glitch. All right, then. Yes, yes. We know the old Ubisoft logo, which I actually think is better. There. Then stream to Drakir. Load game. Okay, it just got stuck for a moment. There we go. That's great. Let's get to the entrance. There. We must get away. Hurry to the temple. Tergon, don't. It's too powerful. Get down. They spit lightning. Yeah, the power guy actually is around here now. Oh. Oh. Done. Okay, cooked orc. They might be resistant, but they're not immune. There we go. They're using us. They use us to footage sound. Um. We better keep our eyes open. We're dead if it catches us. This echo for up Tergon. going around. He was a good mage and loyal to my uncle for many years. 
I don't think I've ever noticed that echo, and there she goes again with that. <laughs> uh. Let's see, Orc Buckler. I do like that the Orcs just run in terror just as much as you run for cover as well. I guess that uh, means they yeah. have not tamed the Paukai then. Nope. And I normally do. Doesn't look like it. We can break it. Now then. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. Knock, knock. <laughs> they were a bit slow to notice that. Oh, hello. Who are you calling an abomination? You were the one created. So, oh, oh. Oops. <laughs> yeah, we kind of need her. Uh, Why? Odin Helian, what the heck? That was close. Too close, actually. Uh. We better keep our eyes open. We're dead if it catches us. I thought she was a bit further back. <laughs> I didn't notice her until I kicked it. <laughs> This time, let's not impale our maybe, maybe not girlfriend. You get to pick later. Yep. Okay. Come with me. Nope. Loot. Yeah. Be praised. You're here. Orcs entered the temple, and we were too few to match. I've been hiding since then. I'm glad you made it, Duncan, when so many of our men didn't. The fighter with us is Saris, Fenric's apprentice. He saved our mission twice already in Stonehelm. Then I'm doubly glad that he is here. A worthy sword arm is always welcome. He's very worthy, Duncan. Don't we have a skull to find here? But enough chatter. Arantir will be on our heels. There are other boats in Stonehelm. Duncan, you defend the boat. Sarath and I will find the skull. We may have to leave quickly when we return. As you wish. The blessings of Erath be with you. And he's off. I can Erath is the dragon of light, the humans worship. Nope. I, I didn't see the pop-up in the corner come up this time. Yes, by your temple, it was already said when we were loading in, or when we loaded back in. The orcs have sealed up the temple. We'll have our work cut out for us to get back in. And by we, she means you. Not very honest, is she? Hmm? Do you think you can get us through? Good luck. Okay, 
let's see where can oh that is a mean crack out there let's see ring of regeneration I think we need to get up there to get out okay. oh dear don't mm -hmm. forget that nice bow you found before shut up Sana Your tear is the co-commentator here, not you. See, we have five at the moment. We need ten. And that opened all of them. Okay, more fighting, and this time there's not much room to sneak. Yeah, if they were closer, they would have seen us. But we are as hidden as we can be at the moment. So... We are going to have to fight some of them, probably. Yoink. That, there we go. Oh. It is yours! Freebeer! Come on. There we go. Any more? No more. Okay. Liana, where are you hiding? There you are. Yeah, she really is do letting us do all the work. Come with me, Sarah. Let's see. And here it is. Magnificent, isn't it? That's one word for it. Uncle said the Skull of Shadows is in the crypt beyond this gate. If you can place the crystal in the heart of the temple, I can open it. But it will take time. There are all sorts of magical defenses here. That corridor leads to the chamber where you can activate the crystal. The incantation will take a lot of preparation time. Hurry back. I don't want to be alone here too long. Will you be okay. safe here? I'd be safer with you, but I have to prepare the spell. Hurry! Oh, is little Miss Mage afraid of the dark? I don't like leaving her alone with orcs around, or errand here. I need her to get inside. You're such a gentleman. All right. Well, she has at least helped us to offer with the lifting the rocks for us and all that. Mm, yep. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Uh, yeah, should have expected that with spiders and all, and things getting drained. What is, why was this reacting? Hmm. Yeah, we haven't stood still for too long for that to activate. We need to play there. Not charming. There's a goblin infestation. I can hear something activating, but I'm not seeing it. Or is... Oh, here. Okay. Stone skin and superior Naga Silk Swords. Full health, 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 and mana. On which we I think we're you recognize that name. I think that might be one of the best weapons in the game. Let's see. Superior Silk Sword. Plus six damage, four percent chance to perform a hit of critical hit, which does double damage. And if we look at critical hits, okay, two and plus four. And it doesn't say if it adds up or if it's total. So, yeah, eight percent chance to get a critical hit. It doesn't really sound that great to me. But then again, we can swing these things around quite fast. Hmm. Yeah, and I think a Naga Soul just swings faster, if I remember yeah. right. This is probably it explains why people like it. <laughs> I 
What the hell was that? Okay, that was that's that's one hard-headed goblin. It didn't even hit his head. And yeah, goblins. You should see the. Um, I don't know if they are related or not, but there are gremlins in this game. And, and they serve as magical mortar team for the wizards. <laughs> okay. And guest you are here for five minutes and you're already wrecking the place. Secrets, quiver, antidote, full health, and this way. Oh, yeah, that thing is still out there. We still have to kill that Paukai. Urgash knows how. I forgot that. We'll deal with it when the time comes. Let's see. Notes. And yeah, this we can lockpick. There's no real mini game for it, and actually, the, <laughs> I'm pretty sure those were supposed to go in the lock, not in front of it. There we go. Oh, hello. Uh, where? Axe, ah, two damage. Okay, we already have things that are better than that. Still. Okay, the same as the pickaxe. I'm guessing Sarah just didn't get any training with uh, swords besides blades, daggers, and staffs. Okay. Yeah, how water? Why is it called Silk Katana? Um, not sure. Let's see. Left antidote to spider's poison here in chest. Locked chest because stupid goblins nearby. All right. Actually, we okay. We could have gotten up here with the like this as well, but they, we would have been blocked by the gates from that. Yeah. Yep, more goblins. I'm not even sure if we can backstab these ones. And hey, you. Uh, oh, hello, smart little smart ass. Uh, and... uh, I think something about to happen to him. Oh. <laughs> he set up a trap. Yeah, no, now we know about. <laughs> Let's see. Club. Yeah, same as the rest. It does a bit more damage. <laughs> okay, I don't think... I don't think shovels really work as javelins. Nope, steel. And... What is that? Ring of Might. Let's see. Steel for more weapons to make if we find another forge. And where's the, where's that ring? A ring of the map weapon master. Did we we picked it up? Where where did it go? Up oh, we here. <laughs> Let's keep the ring of regeneration since it'll save us on healing items and this just goes back okay uh, let's see <clears throat> um jump over that Now. 
Okay, the goblins locked the place up. Hmm. Okay. What now then? I, I don't think that it was a failure of any sorts. Can we pick that? No, we can't pick that up. It would have been useful to just jam that into something else. And yeah, that's Wait, what that's happens when you run out. Hmm? Next to you. Behind you. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I'm sorry. I made it there, but those damn goblins have taken control of the portcullis. There is another way. A bit more complicated. Um, oh. um, yep. Need me to use that. I'd forgotten we fought this thing in. Oh, oh, yeah. Get over here, ugly. Yep. <laughs> Come on, get here. Come on. Ow. Come on. Go. Oh. There we go. Yes, the eyelids. Eyes. They got no eyes. Hence why they use lightning so much. They, I think they sense people by, by the electricity in the air and they, of course, use electricity to attack. This thing has seen a few battles already. Oh, you did it! I can that was your idea. But I don't know what you'll find on your way. There we go. Okay, that was a bit less of a fall than I thought. Yeah. We're going into the catacombs. Which are not too stable. Okay, one more step and we would have fallen straight into that. Oh, come on, there's a... There's just a ledge here, just a block near you. And... yeah. We are most definitely not alone here, so I'm just going to put this back here. And I'm going to put that there. I must say, I... I really hate this part, really, because, yeah, these spiders, oh, I'd say, are probably the worst in all of gaming. Uh, just look at the fuckers. Yeah. Uh, there they are. Actually, 
Put that on as well. And um, yeah. If you think their look is bad, you haven't seen the half of it. Oop. And of course they can crawl on the ceilings and walls. Though that one seems to be stuck. Sooner or later, one of these is going to do it. Uh, oh, okay, that was basically... A, yeah, that was the adrenaline effect, which is basically a, a shotgun of these. Oh, oh, come on. I think that hopefully there is only a limited amount of these. So we are just going to deal with them as much as we can at range. There we go. I thought there was only one there. One that... Oh, there... There... Uh, uh, another you but yeah the fuckers poison you and they leap at you uh, are they just going to keep spawning or just marrow more of them buckets If there's if there's anything hidden around here, I don't give a crap anymore. <laughs> We're just going to run. Oh come on. That's a dead end. This is the way out, I think. <laughs> Actually, an accidental secret. Antidote, antidote. Yeah, we should put those... ...here. We have no plans to fight these things up close. That's when we can avoid it, at least. Uh, let's put that away before we blind someone. Uh, you still there, Rick, here? Yep, I'm still here, just chewing. I have a bowl of uh, nacho balls. Okay. It's a bit hard to compensate when you have a mouthful. Okay, was that the last one? Now the... <laughs> okay, yeah. Die. I have a friend that would hate this part, for he has a bit of a phobia for spiders. So, yeah, spiders leaping at him would probably make him scream. I wouldn't call it a phobia on my part, but it's just... I just... Spiders freaking disgust me. Okay. We need to climb out. Same. I don't hate them, but I am not comfortable with either. With few exceptions. Like, I would okay with this, like, a half-spider humanoid, like a drider or such. Yeah. I don't know why. It, it's the eyes, probably. Yeah, probably. And I, uh, they will he actually, they will head there, even. There. Not the secrets. Health, mana. Antidote, and that's it. Okay. Yeah, we need to go up. We need to go climb up here. Keep an eye on the walls, Sarath. The spiders could come from anywhere. And... Oh, come on. Their shadows are glitching. Which makes it look even worse. 
Okay, now what? Friendly fire. Well, it's friendly. It's fire, but it's not exactly friendly. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, come on. That is very bright. Is that going to kill any of you? Oop. Eight like it fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Ugh. Wanna cook when I eat it? Nope. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, there's it's starting. The hair is standing up. Okay. Any more of you left? For some reason, I used to imagine you have been sort of the hairstyle of uh, Rick for Rick and Morty. Yeah. And that's what Fire Trap does. Okay, that's the last of them. Don't forget that nice bow you found before. Yes, yes, uh, now we know. Combat staff. Okay, yeah. We can climb part of this just by the chains that are I already here. To get up there to get out. Yeah, shut up, Sana. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I imagine trying to do this platforming whilst getting harassed by spiders. Ugh. Yeah, hard nope. <clears throat> and we've passed the third hour. Yep. Well, actually, uh, no, 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 no. Um, how long did we, we started late? Uh, yeah, we, yeah we, we we've passed a... we've passed in three hours and almost 15 minutes yeah for we have about uh, 40 minutes remaining about yeah. probably a little bit more that there and just because this is a perilous jump because if we fall down here yeah <laughs> our knees are going to be relocated to our shoulders actually uh, yeah we need to go back we can't make that jump we can if we put another air rope there yeah we would we would have fallen to our death <laughs> if we tried to do that in one go okay Oop. now then there is we could exit here. Yep. Um, nothing there. But there is more up this way, I believe. <coughs> Pardon. So let's just go grab that. Wait for it to slacken out. Yeah, I hit the like like this loot. Okay. And then we can put one right in there. Because it's not just wooden beams that we can 
put the ropes into. It's wooden planks as well. Alright. Oh, yeah, I have to say, so oh. <laughs> almost fell. Um, that. I was expecting to have more issues oh, with, uh, yeah, doing long stream or doing a long stream. Yeah, look, I think it works due to we started early instead of late. Yeah. So if we started on a regular time. And for four hours, we both will be damn sleepy. Yeah. Also, something of note here, our outfit has changed because of the armor we put on. Nice. It's also just little effect, uh, little details like that that Arcane became known for. And... Yeah, we put that off. We go back to this. Wait, I'm, I'm not... I'm, I really don't know who the character is that is shown at on the the menu of the game, because this doesn't fit with that outfit. Hey then, the one on the on the menu is the Necromancer. Yeah. Mm. Now, with the Endless Quiver, with which, well, the name says everything, we can move on back into Spider Silk Hell. And yeah, stealth, of course, is not going to work at all against these eight-legged fucks. <laughs> only, only burning perching. Yeah, I think Sam, we know what... There's something I haven't... I can't talk right now. Someone might be listening. You need the skull for a different reason than you think. Forget Liana. When it's safe, I'll tell you everything. Okay. Xana's getting panicky. And I like this. Bubbles coming from the chest. Yeah, rations, fish. Okay, just small stuff. Uh, actually, bottle of juice, bottle of juice. And let's turn that back off because it's blinding. Where is everyone? I Heard can't goblins. see. <laughs> and now we're getting to the part where I believe most clips of gameplay online from the, that you see of this game come from. Your favorite spot? Yeah, yeah, we're we're <laughs> we're past the point where the spiders are going to be an issue for the moment. Yoink and yoink. Uh, what is that? It's a root. Oh, it was a pair of legs earlier. I was half expecting that to be a half-eaten goblin. Uh, oh no, we are not getting to that point where I, I thought of yet. But we are getting closer to it. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Let's in more water, and then we can climb out. I think. What? You mean it's not a pair of livers? 
Ark only have one liver. I think you eat there of something else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he got fed and orgs nuts. <laughs> yep, but he got over that. Even orc even. Hey, uh, I really don't. Well, we can test it out if we can stealth kill uh, goblins here. Let's see. I don't think I've ever managed to. Is there anywhere here? Hmm. If we can backstab them, we can always just kick them into the fire. Oh, we can. Goblins, they die pretty easily, but there's usually a bunch of them. They're dodgy little fuckers. Come on. There we go. There they go. <laughs> okay, we do really don't have much to use for quivers. Oh. Also, yeah. They they love to taunt. Did you hear what you, you, hear what you said? Uh, oh. no. uh, did, I didn't did fully you, hear what he said. Jump like goblin, sting like bee. <laughs> but I do love to jump. Actually, let's get out of here. There we go. We just magically get our daggers back after we pull that. But, yeah, they also tend to, well, run away. <laughs> you hit one of them in the eye. I think I hit that one around the corner. <laughs> really? You're brave to be going against me solo. I hate you land a hit. Yeah, that's two. There's just something so freaking satisfying about throwing a dagger in them into their backs. Well, it is just regular goblins and not goblin trappers. They will yeah, attack you with bear traps. Yeah, yeah. So and okay, that? that was. And okay, they, that was one of their weapons. Running in, attack you with a bear trap in close quarter. <laughs> okay. Well, if, once they could get that, no, if they could get that onto someone, it would definitely hurt like all hell. The heck is this? I Broken, that's what I, it is. <laughs> I think that was meant for cooking. Or up in a sort of plate. Uh, uh, wait, I can read this. Upper temple. Damn it. <laughs> I wanted to make a joke. <laughs> I was supposed to do a death over here joke. Uh, let's see, use some of our foods. Well, yeah, actually, something uh, more just. Let's put that back on. How fast does it regenerate, actually? Not very from the look of it. Is that... Yeah, that's... Okay, yeah, it does regenerate a bit slowly, and that's a quiver. We are, we don't really have a need for quivers anymore. Right, I don't know where we can see how many arrows we would have. Uh, yeah, didn't you get a special quiver a uh, moment ago? An uh, endless quiver or something? Yep. Uh, let's see. I think we need to go that way, but there is something waiting for us there. I'll just sit, leave it at that. Um, yeah. Oh, 
Where, where did you lot come from? Did you just spawn? Is it... I get that the voice actor for these goblins really had just fun with it, huh? Yeah, the voice actor for the goblins are actually good. Also, they can hit fast like this. <laughs> oh, more of you. Wait. Oh, was that a... Hillian. Ice. A bit late on that. I think I just wiped out the entire clan. But yeah, I remember these, I think. Well, we already saw what if you kept an eye on their health. Yep. These regenerate our health. Upper temple. That way. Okay. Um I'm going to have to call a a quick BRB though, since oh yeah, my ass is going to need a <laughs> bit of a break at this point. But <laughs> three and a half hours, let's say that is a, a good record on that so far. Oh yeah. So but yeah, this, this should work. Yeah, you were going to say something. Hey, only do to be start was supposed to start early. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So. Hmm? Uh, I was to say. If he started on a regular time, we would have been sleeping now. Yeah. Ugh. Maybe, maybe we can think of, of, uh, on uh, starting earlier more regularly. Though, I don't think we should turn our regular stream time into three hours. Maybe at uh, some point, but... Yeah, yeah starting uh. earlier, I can agree with, but that would be a good idea. But for now, uh, yeah, be right back. And I uh, hope everyone has been enjoying this so far. I sure have. <laughs> Is this time to grab more drink?
Okay, I'm back. And it sounds like the cure is still MIA. <laughs> okay. Huh? Uh, oh, there you are. Um, there you are. I was be waiting for you. <laughs> okay. When, when did you get back? Uh, just a bit ago. <clears throat> okay. Oh. I guess I didn't. I went to the bathroom, then I came back and started to wait for you. <laughs> I, I even had my headphone full next to me before I usually able to hear you from there. Okay. Like I said, we need to go that way. And there's a goblin over. There's two goblins already taunting. <laughs> but let's explore around a bit for any goodies to find. What's with the buzzing? That, that made me twitch, and I thought there was a fly in the room now for that. Another gutting, Chris, if we hadn't found these original ones. Uh, hmm. I think these... I think that's going to lead somewhere. I'm pretty sure we need to go that way, but why is that sound chasing us? Oh, hello. Why is... If we still had that spider key from the beginning of the game, we could probably open those. Uh, hello. Why is that sound... Anything we can... Maybe yes. if there's a half a goblin in there? Telling us there's something in here. Uh, it's probably supposed to be flies from a corpse or something. But you man, half a goblin is not a corpse. Yeah, this has already been looted. Okay, and there's his head. Hmm. Okay, moving on from that. I say this, these are the moments where they don't like having headphones. But if when fly sounds sounds too realistic. Let's see, you're supposed to go somewhere. Uh, where do you need to go? Okay, those are already occupied. That one isn't. Yep. Easy enough to fix. There we go. Oh, here. Okay, another uh, stash here. Let's see, mana, full health, health, and full health. Okay. I think we can find something. Why are you. Why are you reacting to the. That, yeah, Sarah? I, I think there is an amulet or something we can find somewhere to open these doors. Ooh. Wait. Look around first. Think about what you're doing. These are a bit obvious. Okay, another full health and more fire trap spells. And Oh, hello. Staff of the Fire Lords. Okay, I guess always I won't mind I said uh, <laughs> Borrowing that. Lightning bolt, That's sanctuary. Fire, Lord. Wait, is that dwarf stuff? And that's also something we can do with telekinesis. Now, I was making a joke to uh, yeah, Avatar The Last Ambrander. Fire Lord is called Ozai in that. Oh, I didn't know it just said a name. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look. Uh, staff reflection, magic affinity, one needed. Where did there it is? Three damage plus six against enemies vulnerable to fire requires melee combat one. Yeah, we are keeping that because we can beat up spiders pretty good with that. Now, let's finally go into this area here on the right. <laughs> I think that leads to the where we need to go. Let's first dropping a save. 
Just in case, and we're soon ending the stream. Yeah. So let's finish it on a high note. You're gonna sing? Yeah, little bastards running away. We've got a Cyclops to deal with. Come on, come Wonder's on, come on. on dead. Nope. Oh. Yeah, come on. Yeah, whoop, whoop. Miss. Oh, oh, oh. And yeah, we are, we are goblin size too. With that, so it can kick us around if it wants to. Uh, is there anything else here that we can knock around it? Uh, do I don't even know if Cyclopses are vulnerable to hell, to food, fire, or lightning. Are you going to do anything special here? Just pray it's not a red eye Cyclops. Okay, he can't this go there. Uh. Come on, give me something to chuck at it. Wait. We, we didn't get to hurt from that. Ow. Um, yeah, Cyclopses are really the, oh, the only thing that foes are really useful for. Is that it, or is... There we go. And that's our Cyclops dealt with, and also blocking our way. If that is the way we need to go. So, uh, let's get that stealth upgrade, and upgrade from the Gunning Chris to the Poison Chris. Use Power Strike to perform magic attack once weapon is charged. Which, well, it's a Poison Chris. But of course, you know what that's going to do. Hmm. Now, I am unsure if we need to go that way or up there. So let's go look there first. Uh, I could have gone the other up the other stairs. Let's see. Yeah, we have nothing else that can upgrade our stamina further. Okay. Already looked. No. Okay, yeah, we could have used this as an archery perch to fight the Cyclops, which is why I didn't go into here. Uh, fearing it might. There it is. Fearing it might trigger the fight. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it did. Oh, okay, this is the exit. So we didn't even need to fight it. And where does this go? Oh, we couldn't get up here. Because it's blocked. Do no wonder what was the room the Cyclops uh, was hiding in? Maybe there's something is there. Uh, I think something behind the gate that we opened. Hmm. Might be both. Oh, it definitely was a room that he broke through, through the wall from. Yeah, it's it's filled with point debris. So, where does this lead? Oh, oh, this is the portcullis that they closed on us. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, there's no need for us to go back. We could possibly get some dialogue from Liana if we were to go back to her. But, yeah, we're closing in on the end, so we might as well get as much progress as we can. Get that notification of our skill points away. Well, aren't we doing this for the story? True, but, but now we'd have to go run all the way back down again. <laughs> and it would it would even be just a possibility of our having a new line for that. So instead, we need to go in deeper. 
deeper underground. <laughs> really, game? Ugh. Yeah, definitely get in the Steam version and replay a bit there. Let me know to where we need to replay. You, rather, you need to replay too. Yeah. And yeah, I I kind of expect that Steam version at least be a bit more updated and at least some bugs fixed. Maybe. I'd be surprised if, I'd be surprised if they haven't fixed the bugs. Yeah, it, it seems like, okay, if I alt tab whilst the game is in a loading screen, it freaks out and crashes. There we go. Is this the save I made or is this an auto save from the trans okay it's auto save here okay close enough hmm. uh, let's make a rule we we save we, we make a save before we move into a new area and why is it still playing the combat music it's dead am I think that Okay. We have no need for the daggers in the box. There we go. Get that again. We now have the cloak skill. The stealth interface that popped up in the middle of the screen while walking. There will let you You will even harder to spot if you crouch or wear an assassin's outfit. Let's take it. A it uh, allows you to hide in shadows and become almost invisible. You can also pickpocket your enemies uh, by enemies who have uh, steel keys carried by enemies who have not spotted you yet. Yeah, now the bar can go fully, fu uh, can be completely filled. Now, dear, there are orcs about. now this is a place that has shown up in quite a few <laughs> clips online. Mind the edge. It's a long way down. Okay. Any more di dialogue that we can overhear? Doesn't look like it. Well, where did you two come from? You and uh, oh, now, come on, now, that still he still died from that. Oh, and I'm almost died from falling as well. And there he goes. All right. A moment, Sarah. Let's look around. Okay. And again. Is that even budging? Okay, it budged. <laughs> Before we do that, though, it's an elevator shaft. Okay, let's take that. It's jammed. And I... We'll have to fix it. Taking the stairs will do you some good anyway. With luck, we'll find a way to repair it on our way up. I heard orc voices and footsteps. What's behind here? Not really a secret area if it was that blade and how you could get in. Lightning daggers! Uh oh. It's require melee too. 
bots. They are strong against orcs. So we can we can stomach that little sacrifice. You can you're now able to disarm enemies. To do so, either perform a power strike on a stunned enemy or win a contest of might when your weapon is locked with your enemies. Yeah, this weapon struggles are in this game as well. Now then. Yeah, let's put those there. Another mana potion. And another cave in. Okay, yeah, these are going to be useful. Hmm. Uh, we can't go up the elevator shaft itself, so we'll just have to move over here. And luckily these seagulls don't try to steal our stuff. Enjoying the view? He's certainly enjoying the, the air. Kicking like a nice town, eh? <laughs> yeah, and now he can enjoy the ground as well. Or the water, depending on which he hits first. How did you not see me? <laughs> Go. Oh, was the dice? I thought it was another Paukai around. Ne oh. How did you spot me? Or did you see the bloods? <laughs> Fuck that blade in particular, apparently. Oh. Really? He really thought it was the best idea to put his back open <laughs> to all of this. Uh, the idea isn't too smart from time to time. Why did you throw the barrel? <laughs> no particular reason, really. Oh, hello there. Can we get to that? <laughs> okay, I said, I said that uh, that one's spinning. I think that it was meant for that one downstairs. Then again, they're both down now. <laughs> Another poison bow. Yeah, you want to be careful when crossing this. Luckily, there's this tree here, so not <laughs> not going to flashbang everyone. That's not what I meant. We can do there. Okay. A nice magic bow. Hello. Soul Drinker? Okay. That sounds interesting. And our inventory is filling up <laughs> pretty quickly. Let's see. Strength 3 needed, but adds 30% of damage dealt to wielder's health. A cursed weapon crafted by a necromantic ritual that binds the tormented sp uh, a, a tormented spirit into a new forged blade. Yeah, there's a, an opening missing there. The resulting weapon feeds on the life force of its victims. Hmm. Now, I, I think we'll go for critical hit instead of strength, at first at least. Oh. To uh, try, give the katanas a, a try. Yeah, you two are something as well, aren't you? Hmm. Also, I'm... If I do replay up to here in... Uh, <clears throat> in the full Steam version... Then I'll have to find the same secrets as well. Oh. And yeah, they can also do that. Luckily, we heard some invincibility there. Yes. 
Yeah, he just picked us up and tossed us. And Come on. his body tried to cleave your balls. Oh, very much did. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, a bit less nutty. Chill out. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see what I mean with uh, that orcs can really put on the hurting quick. Yep. Oh, there's one upstairs. Ring of the Phoenix? Ah, uh, not enough. Not another. No, that isn't really too noticeable, but it works. <laughs> that what counts. Yep. There we go. <sighs> yep, now we're completely out of mana potions. Imagine so... any orc god standing down there and suddenly see that it's starting to rain orcs. <laughs> is blocked there must be something interesting inside let's find another way in find a pause to reach the other side of the barricaded door okay oh, and that's the timer going off and yet we hit we hit our full four hours now so yeah, I guess this is as good as place as any to put a park uh, to put a pin on it for now. Yep, at least two first day. Let's grab all of these. And hmm. I think I think we'll I'll keep it to uh, this version because yeah, I'd have to fight all the way through here, but I'd also have to fight uh, find the same secret and such. So we might end up with less or more skill points and. I now notice that there's rooms or something in in the uh, in the blades here. Okay. Looks like it. And yeah, the, the crashes have been annoying, but they haven't been game breaking. And the game starts up quickly enough, so. Hmm. Wait. What? I think we could it have the same problem as one of the Blood Omen games. Um, which uh, we have, we played only one Blood Omen game. We so I think you mean Soul, the Legacy of Cain games. I mean Blood Omen for did that game freak out when the, the computer was too fast? I'm not sure. Hmm. For could it? If I know if that one freaked out if you had extremely quick CPU or something. No, so, I mean, okay, that goes. <laughs> usually, when a game has quit as an option, it goes to the main menu, or at least gives the option to. Uh, <laughs> that one instead just kicked us out completely. Well, then, with the uh, void everywhere here. Yeah, I, I'd say that it was a successful uh, run, even with the uh, issues here and there. But we've had far worse. Oh yeah, we had way far worse. <laughs> so, what do you think so far? I like it. <laughs> yeah, this, the story and such is weaker in this game, but the gameplay is just so much fun. It, it uh, personally, if I if I had to say if I had to choose between gameplay and story, I'd set my preference on gameplay. <sighs> <laughs> but if they made a remaster and kept the gameplay a bit more polished and improved the story, would you love it more? Yeah, though that would probably be a more of a remake. Uh, 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 again, I've... remaster is the same thing, but with better graphics, generally. Remake is where a lot of it can be different. Uh, I wouldn't mind either yeah. of the two. Yeah. The, a remaster would also probably be a bit more polished, like bug fixes and such. Yeah. But yeah, remake or remaster would be good. Yeah, either either way, if, if Arcane ever returns to 
uh, the Mighty Magic Universe or does something similar to Dark Messiah, I, I'd buy it day one, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, that was our stream anniversary. Uh, we went, we got through four hours pretty well, actually. Oh, yeah. Again, for me, it was smart to start early. Yeah. Uh, I might think about uh, moving the time forwards of, on stream as well. If I could probably... The thing is, uh, my family eats together most of the time, uh, which is why I had to move back the stream time a few times, because, yeah, dinner would just get delayed and delayed. And then, yeah, it would run over into streaming time. But if I just start doing my... Uh, if I on my stream days, I just make my own dinner or just get it cheap uh, from someplace. Uh, then I could start off at a far, a far more yeah, regular early time. Uh, would you be for that? We, we wouldn't need to go longer. We could just do the two hours as usual, but just earlier. Yeah, we've done that before and I kind of like it that way for... Less than we were not as tired when we were finished streaming and we sometimes could watch a series or something afterward, as we did in the past. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll, I'll be all for it. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely try to get that working. Oop. As well, it I means also if when we do... Let's see, it also means mm -hmm. when we do go over time, we go, won't go over time into sleepy hours. Yeah, <laughs> that's another plus of it. So then... Uh, uh, plus. Mm -hmm. You get to practice cooking. Yeah, though today the cooking was mostly just put the burgers into the grill press, uh, turn the microwave on to heat the vegetables, and yeah, cut two buns in half. <laughs> well, that's something at least. Yeah, easy food doesn't have to mean bad food. True. Okay. But yeah. We'll be continuing with this on Thursday. So for now, thank you and I'll be watching now or later. And thank you extra especially this time, Dakir. Oh, you're, you're most extra specially welcome, my friend. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't really think we'd ever hit one uh, year with this, but <laughs> I definitely enjoyed our time so far. So yeah, here's to another year then. I'm looking forward to it already. Uh, hopefully when we hit that, I might have moved out of here and gotten a better room for this. You mean an actual studio? Yeah, maybe not that, but just a, a, a room that isn't just an oversized uh, barrel storage. <laughs> it's not that. It's... Let's just say that just next time... Here in your room. Uh, let's just hope that by the next year I have a room that is more than 10 meters squared. <laughs> so yeah again thank you all who have been watching now or later and yeah until next time have a nice day and until then be safe folks and watch out for frozen ground <laughs> and jumping poison spiders and screaming goblins <laughs> goodbye bye